Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Ringo TV Reactions. I'm your host, back again with another one. Let's get down to business, fam. Let's do this. So, we're back again with another episode of Ringo TV Reactions. What we're going to talk about is this video. I titled this one, Why Melly Monaco Will Become a Single Mother. Yeah. Not just to any guy, but to Pookie. That's right. I want to examine this particular video here and uh, share my thoughts and break it down and find out exactly what's going on so that we can come to our conclusion on this issue. Why Melly Monaco will become a single mother to Pookie or single for life. That's what we're going to talk about tonight. So let's get into this particular tape. Do what we got to do. As you join in, be sure to click the like button as we go on this journey. So, if you don't catch the beginning, just watch the replay. But we got a lot of work to cover tonight. Because what we're going to deal with is female nature. We're going to deal with uh, the things that a lot of you guys don't understand. Because Melly Monaco is known for, I guess, giving men advice on dating at the same time with all of that advice with all of the information that you guys praise her for cheer her on for it seems as if though she can't settle down it's as if though nothing's working when it comes to relationships, because she she tend to post all of these different guys that she goes on dates with. And, you know, from the outside looking in, I'm, I'm like, I'm looking at this and I'm like. It's just not adding up. So we got to come down to the conclusion. What exactly is the goal here? What exactly is her goal? Is it to be single for life or become a baby mama? Which one is it? Maybe you ladies that will view this may learn a thing or two from this particular breakdown. Because what I'm going to break down is a clear situation that needs attention. Maybe she needs to see this particular live so that she can pretty much make the adjustments because my prediction, this is my prediction, is that Melly Monaco will become another female YouTuber that will become a single mom. I mean, there's one other particular woman that got pregnant by another YouTuber. I don't even mention that woman's name. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She got pregnant by a YouTuber, and it's like, all she do is talk about black men, degrade black men, but got pregnant by a black man. It's, like, <laughs> it's crazy, fam. <laughs> it's, it's out of this world, fam. But this is my prediction. Because, you know, when I look at Melly Monaco... It's like she just don't know what she want. It's like she's doing YouTube, got some success. But the kind of guys that she's always on these dates with, it says a lot about her. You know, it says that she's not a good woman. I'm just being honest. I'm giving my honest reaction here. It says that She's heading for single motherhood. And that would be a total waste because 
you would think that a woman that is giving guys all of this information about how to get this and how to get that and how to do this with the women that she would know exactly how to hone in on a quality man and be submissive to that man. But I don't think that Melly can do that. I doubt it. I don't think that she can be submissive to a man. I don't think that she's capable of doing that. I think that she's the type that uh, would be, I guess, sort of in a competition with you. Like if you're her man, it's just not going to work. It's sort of like a, a GZ and a Jenny Ma or whatever her name is. Or what's the recent video I just did with uh, an NBA player that uh, he got divorced from some other woman. They they separated. You know, it's going to be one of them type of situations. That's what I see. So in this particular video episode here, I guess she's on some sort of show. I don't know where the show come from, but I know it came from one of her channels. I don't know if it was filmed somewhere else, but... For whatever reason, it appears as of though she's talking to some guy that may have been in an, in the NBA or whatever. I don't I don't even know who this guy is. Like, I don't know who he is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying I really don't. You know what I'm saying? But my point is, what I want to show you is that Melly do not know how to choose guys. <laughs> She really don't, fam. You know, you, hey, you can say she look good. You can say all of this other stuff, but all of the all of the looks and all of that stuff is literally going to waste. <laughs> it's going to waste, fam. I mean, I'm I'm literally watching the downfall of Melly Monaco. I'm li I'm literally in the clouds, just kind of observing the situation. And I'm like sitting back, I'm watching what's going on. I mean, just the other day she was with MTR. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, she, he was asking her to sign an NDA or something. She was like, no, I don't want to sign that. Mm -mm, I ain't doing that. But then in this video, you know, she's prepared to sign the prenup. <laughs> I, I just don't get it. And the guy that's in this particular video he got a bunch of hoes, <laughs> baby mamas, drama. He's not, he's not official. He's not a man that uh, is about his business. But for some reason, Melly seems to be attracted to this. So I want to use this opportunity to may maybe I can help her. Maybe I can give her some game. Because I can see the future, fam. I'm telling you. Y'all know this already, man. Put a one in the chat if every time you see me say stuff, it seems to come to pass. Just put a one. If, if you've been around long enough and you see me talk about things and I'll be like, yo, this is going to happen. That's going to happen. That's going to happen. And then it happens. Put a one in the chat if you agree. Because I've been right about a lot of things, man. And for some reason, it's like people just don't get it. But in this particular case, I see her future. Mm-hmm. Baby mama to a pookie. And I'm going to do my first video about it when the news breaks. <laughs> as soon as the story breaks, I'm doing the first reaction video. Melly Monaco pregnant by such and such and such loser. I'm be like, see, guys, didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? And it's because she's not really interested in quality men. I don't think that Melly Monaco is capable of attracting a quality man. She typically only attract losers. And this is what I'm seeing. So I'm gonna break down this particular video, right? We're gonna break this thing down. 
talk about what's going on. And um, I'm going to share my commentary about this. We're going to talk about the guy and question who she's talking to. Like I said, I don't know who he is or whatever the case is. I don't know. Maybe y'all know or whatever the case is. I don't know. You know, what I do know, this is what I do know. Let me see if I can bring this up. What I do know based on this situation with this guy, let me see if I can find this clip, is that Melly Monaco, based on the receipts, right? Melly Monaco super chat this guy $200. Now, guys, let me give you some information about this. When a woman super chat you like that, that means that she's trying to get your attention. Do you understand me? I'm giving you the game. When it comes to social media, when a woman super chat you like that, especially if you don't even need the money, Right. It's to get your attention. It's to say, hey. Hey, I see you. Hey. You get what I'm saying? That's what's going on here. So. Based on this. It's evident and clear that Melly. Is only attracted to toxic men. That's it. So what that says is she's not a good woman. Off the rip. All you got to do is just look at who a woman is attracted to. And that will indicate where she stands when it comes to who she is as a, as a person. Because again, guys, no woman come to you as a good woman. Always remember that. No woman comes to you as a good woman. It don't work like that. Women come to you messed up. It's up to you. If you're a good man, if you're a quality brother, your lifestyle of who you are is what's going to affect that woman to change her ways and adapt to your, you know, your agenda in terms of who you are. But women typically attract toxic men. And this is why I say that Melly Monaco will become a future baby mama to a pookie, right? Because she's on that path right now. I can see it. She's on that path. Uh, I don't know how old she is, but she's most likely in her 30s. So her time is almost up. <laughs> it is. Y'all saying that's Gilbert like I know him. I don't know who that is. See, I don't I don't know toxic people. <laughs> I don't. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't know who that is, man. In all seriousness. I came up in the time when they had actual NBA players. You know what I'm saying? But based on what I'm seeing with this, is that Melly was shooting her shot. Because, again, and that's bars right there, if you really think about it. <laughs> Shooting your shot, NBA player, former NBA player. Her sending a $199 super chat, that's to get his attention. Because I'm pretty sure she sent the most money. And that got his attention. Like, oh, who's that? Let me go check her out. Let me go see what's going on. Let me check out her Instagram. Oh, let me look at these breasts. Okay, she got big tits. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Let me see what she was going on. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I would like to hit that. That's her way of shooting her shot. All right? So, where is this going to end? And where is it going? Because all of these guys on her platform want to smash. She knows this already. All right? But Melly understand that time is running out. She understands that uh, her days are numbered. 
30s, probably pushing 35. I don't know her age, but she's probably pushing about 35, probably 37. And time is up. You know, once she hit 40, it's over. You know what I mean? Recreational use at best. Um, there's no potential after that. It's, it's like she's done. And it doesn't matter how you look. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, what I look at is the fact that these women, they keep choosing men that are toxic because they're toxic too. And this is why a lot of you guys that are good brothers, you're probably wondering like, well, why, why is it that certain women don't gravitate towards you? It's because they're evil. They're just not good women. The only time someone like Melly is going to really gravitate towards a quality man is once she hit 40. Once she hit 40, about 45, 40, 45, that is normally when women, I guess they have that, they have that wake up call that, okay, let me, let me stop what I'm doing. Let me go find myself a quality man and uh, do what I need to do the right way. But it's too late by the time they do that, you know. But let's listen to this. We're going to listen to this entire stream. We're going to break it all down. Everything we're going to break down. And I'm going to prove to you. I'm going to show you why Melly Monaco will become a single mother to a pookie or just single for life. I'm going to show you that. All right. So let me rewind back the tape and uh, let's get down to business. Do what we got to do. Hold on a second. Why this thing is like this? Oh, that's because that's there. Okay. All right. So let's break this thing down, shall we? Let's see what we got. We're going to also hear how he talk so we can see if he's official. Because it seemed like all of the guys, right, that are on Melly's platform are all simps and suckers. None of those guys are real men. Um, it's like all of those guys are like women. Because the guys were in the chat saying... I don't know if he's a good fit for you. I don't know if he's this. I don't know if he's that. I'm like, listen, what the, what are you guys doing? You had guys emailing Melly to talk about him, which is some sucker shit. I never heard of that. Like dudes emailing women about, oh, he did this. He did. Even though dude is toxic, it's just like alarming that men were posting super chats saying that they were emailing Melly about dude and I'm like bro what man does that like how do you how do you email a woman like you 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 a woman too I don't get that like what do you expect to gain out of that like men don't do that even if dude toxic I wouldn't do that fam that's some sucker shit you know what I mean but hey Let's get down to the tapes. Let's find out what's going on here so we can break this thing down and make some sense of this. So why are you making me sign a prenup? You think I'm going to run with your money if we get a divorce? Yeah, that's not it. Okay. Well, it's fine. So so what's up? Would you would you like to say anything? Um, to who? Um, I don't know. They, they can send in a $5 super chat if they have any questions. Um, wow, five dollars super chats to ask ask a question. <laughs> That's a hustle right there. But um, they asked me also if I recorded the date. I said no, I didn't. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. And um, th that's all. Anything <laughs> you would like to say? Why you're not talking? You're usually very talkative. Notice she said you're usually very talkative, but for some reason he's shy. That's a red flag. It's sort of like when you're alone, you're one way, but when you're in the public and in the spotlight, all of a sudden now you get a little timid. You get what I'm saying? Because normally a man he's supposed to be the same everywhere she said you're more talkative 
but for some reason that he's on the live and he's in front of the public. Getting a little quiet there. I'm, I'm just listening. I'm trying to figure out like what was told, what was said, so. Okay, they say, tell us about the second date. You, go tell us about the second date. No, they already said something, so. The second date. So Melly was on two dates with a toxic man. <laughs> you can't make this up. <laughs> like, why? Why would you even waste your time? I get it. She's trying to secure a former NBA baller. <laughs> Hypergamy at best. Come on, guys. You don't see this? Now, think about it. If you are a brother and you work at Home Depot and you hit up Melly Monaco and says, hey, I'm trying to take you out on a date. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you think she's going to waste her time, fam? <laughs> nah, fam. She's not going to waste her time. But this is date number two. Date number two. Now, first of all, I don't understand how dude is supposed to be an NBA, former NBA baller, right? And he's taking women on two different dates and he ain't even smashed yet. <laughs> it says a lot. Maybe it's just me, but I'm trying to figure this out, fam. I, I, I don't know what's going on, man. But hey, it is what it is, man. Let's go. You can't answer. You said. I just said it. I just said it. We went to a Mexican place. Okay. You took her to a Mexican place, fam? <laughs> so you didn't take her to your crib? <laughs> fam, at least MTR had her in his house. I'm just saying, man. I don't I don't know if he smashed or not, but hey, at the end of the day, this is what this is what it is in these YouTube streets, man. It's like dude taking women to Mexican places. MTR had her in the crib. You know what I mean? I don't get it, fam. Like, like you are you are NBA baller. Uh, yo, you guys are wasting a lot of time, fam. It's 2023, man. I'm not wasting no damn time with no woman, bro. Seriously, because women already done know what it is. They know what they're looking for. They know what they're not looking for. Sometimes women are just testing out the market, seeing how things is. Sometimes they're just using you for what they can gain from you. Sometimes they'll use you for your clout to get their numbers up. There's so many different things women will use a brother for. Could it be that Melly is just hustling, brother, to use his name and likeness to get her numbers up? Or is she genuinely feeling the brother because she trying to settle down and has some kids with a dude that got multiple baby mamas and a bunch of hoes. <laughs> Let it make sense. I'm trying to figure that out, fam. It just, does, it's not making any, any sense. Logically, it's just not making any sense. But anyway, let's get back to the tapes. Uh-huh. Did we have a good time? Am I... <laughs> That's a red flag. Never ask a woman, did we have a good time? <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> Bruh man is a loser, guys. I can see right through him. A total loser. A loser with an NBA history. <laughs> You're asking a woman, did we have a good time? Sis, did, did you have a good time on the date? <laughs> I just, I just want to know. So hold up. You don't know if she had a good time? You have to ask her if she had a good time? What kind of, what kind of nonsense is that, bro? This is how I know a lot of these guys, right? And, and dude started boasting in this video. It started to make me laugh, bro. This is how I know he was a loser. He started boasting a whole lot. We're going to get to that section, fam. But I'm trying to get over this thing. Like, you asking a woman, 
did she have a good time? That's how I know you don't got no game. Because you're asking her. And then look at her response to you, fam. Look at her response. Talk about yourself. Did you have a good time? Yes, I had a great time. Did I get a third date from the second date? You say, did you? I said, do I? I don't you asking her if you get a third date, fam? What? <laughs> Dude is asking her, do I get a third date, please? <laughs> Bro, what is that? What is exact? What? What is your goal? Are you trying? Are you trying to fuck or are you trying to just play this dating game? <laughs> Why don't you just hit her up and just tell her straight up exactly what you want to do? I don't get it, bro. Like you guys, I, I just don't. I don't get it, man. Y'all taking these women out on these dates. For what? What's the goal, bro? If if this woman feeling you, right? She should already want to get it in. If she feeling you. So rather than going through all of this red tape, trying to take you on all these damn dates, fam, why don't you just get to the point? And, and another thing, why is every time you guys take women on dates, right? Y'all always taking them to dinner dates. Like you guys don't got no sort of creativity. Like, you guys don't know how to take a woman on an adventure. You don't know how to do anything that's really spontaneous. You don't know how to really take some adrenaline-type rush-type dates where you're doing something that really makes a difference, something that you can really experience and remember. It's the same old nonsense. Going to a restaurant, going to some damn Mexican place, going to this nonsense. I mean, it's the same thing every single time. It's boring. It's so cliche. It's predictable. It's the same thing. These women be wanting an adventure. You guys be doing the same dumb shit. And you supposed to have bread. <laughs> Boy, man. But then again, this is what Melly Monaco chooses. <laughs> Get back to the tapes, man. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a long night, man. Oh, you haven't asked. Is that you asking now? Sure. Yeah, sure. Why not? Wow. And there we go. So she agreed to go on a third date. She agreed to go on a third date, fam. Wow. Mm-hmm. We, we had a great time if I got a third date. Third date. How many, how many guys been on a date with Melly Monaco, fam? <laughs> I don't want to go on no damn dates, bro. I don't got time, fam. And see, ladies, this is why when, when, like, if you're a social media woman or whatever the case is, and you have all of this stuff out there, it kind of make guys, I'm talking about real men, it make us kind of sit back and kind of analyze the situation like, damn, like, how many dudes, like, like, how many dudes is on these dates with these same women, bro? Like, the same thing, like... What, what is this woman really after, fam? Like, all these dates, all these different guys, and you still can't settle down? Like, what the fuck is going on? Well, maybe this is just for content. You know, just for some content. It's nothing really serious. But at the end of the day, whether it's content or something serious, it's a waste of time, fam. It's crazy, man. Yeah, take her on a bike ride. But see, these guys, they don't have none of that in them. These guys don't understand anything about creativity. They don't know how to. Uh, they're not really men. They're losers. We're going to get into that later on. I'm going to show you. So you want to say you don't want to talk a little more? Somebody say, get rid of Inez. Did you smash the pussy? Nope. Mm. <laughs> they say I see it. <laughs> Notice how people in the chat was like, did you smash? And he said, nope. Total waste of time. No, they say it looks like um, it smashed because I'm smiling. I'm like, okay. A lot of times women don't smile because they like you. They smile because...
they don't really have anything good to say or they're not really feeling you. So they're smiling just to kind of smile to avoid from looking a certain way because they don't want you to know. So don't think that just because a woman is smiling is that sh that she's feeling you doesn't mean she's feeling you just because she's smiling, fam. You know, a woman is feeling you when she's all over you. These are the clues and these are the keys, brothers. When a woman is feeling you, she's touchy feely. She's all on you. She want to get next to you. She want to be around you. She want to smell your cologne. She want to come up close. You get what I'm saying? Don't don't listen. Back in the day, we used to talk about, oh, if you can make a woman smile, that means that she's really feeling you. This is 2023. That don't work no more. They say, uh, girl got hose. You got hose? No cap. <laughs> no cap there. Okay, listen, I don't know who, who am I supposed to be today? Do I supposed to be like no cheer or the person you went on a date with? Because I think they think that the person that they see online is the person. Oh. You can be whoever you want to be. So basically, there is a character within dude. So when he's on the date, he's in a different, he's a different person. And when he's on social media, he's fake. Do you see the red flags? This is why when it comes to social media, you got to be very careful about the people you listen to because he just said, who do you want me to be? The guy that was with you on the date or the guy that is on social media. So it's like, which one is the real person? And how do Melly know who this guy really is? She don't know. She have no clue. This is why I said she will become a single mom or single for life. We're going to talk more about that as we go. But no cap, though. No cap, you got hoes? How many? Huh? How many hoes? When we say hoes, dude, like, like they are literally hoes or they're like ladies. Or girls you're talking to. Listen, every time Melly talks and Melly makes a video, she's always talking about bitches this and this and that and all this other stuff. Dude is busy trying to be a gentleman. Like, so when you say hoes, are you saying like this? Or are you saying? I don't get it, man. This is, this is sad, man. Do I still get my third date? Hold up. You just said, do I still get my third date if you confess if you got hoes? Bro, I don't know what this woman see. <laughs> the dude is literally begging her. So if I if I tell you that I got holes, am I going to still get my third date? <laughs> the dude is begging, bro. That's a bad that's a bad sign right there, fam, because it should be Melly. It really should, it should be Melly that really is showing you that she feeling you, bro. I mean, maybe she is. But at the end of the day, you begging her? So if I tell, if I, so if I confess that I got these extra women, am I still going to get the date? <laughs> now, brothers, do you see why I tell you to practice polygyny? Do you see why I tell you that as a man, you're just supposed to have other women? Dude is literally asking for her permission. In other words, I don't want to mess my chances up of smashing. So if, if I answer your question that I got holes, am I still going to get that date? That just tells me that you're really not that official, bro. Because if you're a boss, if you're a real man and you stand on your square, you wouldn't give a fuck about what she think. You get what I'm saying? Because you know you in there. You see what I'm saying? If you really official and you know this woman is on your ish, it doesn't matter what woman you got because she's already locked in. Do you see what I'm saying? That lets me know that the dude is a loser. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't care about them hoes. Okay. Well, okay. Now, she said she don't care about them hoes, right? That's what she said, right? Okay. She said she don't care about them hoes. Check this out. Uh, big news. The world is definitely going to end in your lifetime. Does this affect your views on monogamy? 
Ooh. That's a good question. That is a good question. Um, I don't want to tell a man what he needs to do. I don't want to tell a man like who is with me that he needs to not talk to other women, not fuck with other women. I want you to be happy. I want you to do what you do. So if me and you are together, I may let you do exactly what you want to do. Then really? I may see what I can handle and what I cannot. And when I can't, I'm just out. So Can I ask you a question? Of course. If a dude wanted a, a open relationship, mm -hmm. what would he have to provide for you in order for you to accept? I'm now notice, even MTR is asking what do he have to do for her in order to have what he want to have? These guys are losers, bro. <laughs> Why are you guys asking her what do I got to provide for you in order for me to have an open relationship? I don't know why they use all these different terms, open relationship, this and that, all this other stuff. Just say that you want to fuck other women. <laughs> Just say that you want to deal with other women. That's it. You don't need to ask her. She's supposed to know who you are already. When you a real man and you about your business, and a woman is with you, she's supposed to know that it's, there's other women that are chasing you down, bro. She's supposed to know that. The only thing a woman should be concerned with is that she's on your team. You know, similar to a basketball team. Are, are you a part? Are you, the, are you of the five? Are you of the guys, the, 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 the club, the team that is on the court? Did you make the playoffs? Were you drafted? You know, that's what a woman should be concerned with. As long as she's on the team, that's all that matters. That means she's a chosen one. But these guys are asking for permission, bro. The girl, we live together. It's, it's a partnership. I know everything about you. You know everything about me. Like, you're here for me. I'm here for you, you know? Um, the girl that she is going to go, like, deal with can be really like, I said that before, like repeated customers. Yeah. So she's basically telling MTR that, hey, if if you're with me and we're in an open relationship and you want to go out there and bang some other woman, right? She cannot be a repeated customer, which means if you smash, then okay, cool. Once, twice, and then leave her alone Basically, she's basically telling this dude how to be a man and what the fuck he got to do. That just proved that you guys are losers. Ain't no woman going to be telling me that, oh, if I'm messing with this woman here, you know, she can't be a repeated customer. What kind of nonsense is that? She's controlling your rod, bro. That means that she the man in the house and you the woman. That means she don't even respect you. Now, we just heard her in the other clip. She said, I don't care about what holes you got. But right here, she do care. Which one is it, man? Make it make sense, y'all. Maybe once or twice, but it can be some girls like, I don't want you to go and have a girlfriend. You see? She don't want you to have another woman and you really got feelings for her and you really loving this woman. Well, that right there proves that ain't no relationship going to work with this woman because if I'm a dude and I'm practicing polygyny and I got my wife over here, and I wanted to fuck with Melly, she gonna have to recognize and respect that I got my wife over here too. Now we can still kick it and we can build, but at the end of the day, you gonna respect that I got a wife over here. You ain't gonna be telling me, oh, I gotta give you all my attention and I gotta do this. And no, that's not how it works. I'm a man. Men multitask. A man can have love for this sister and that sister. You telling me that, oh, you don't want me to have no girlfriend girlfriends, then basically you saying that you want me exclusive to you, which means you trying to control me. So now I'm not even being a man no more. You get what I'm saying? That's crazy. It's like, if you want to fuck a girl, like, I don't care. Like, I know a lot of people are like, well, sex is important and stuff. I'm like, I, I get it. But I feel like a lot of men can just fucking keep it moving. So... For me to think that 
You're Notice how she thinks. She thinks that men could just smash a woman and keep it moving. For some reason, Melly has been taught and brainwashed in these YouTube streets that men don't have no feelings whatsoever. See, those are the kind of guys that she fuck with. They don't got no damn feelings. If a brother is with a woman and he really feeling this woman and he smash, he's going to have feelings for this woman if he's really liking this woman. You get what I'm saying? A dude can have feelings for a woman before he even smashed a woman. So that mindset she got of thinking that a dude can just hit a sister up and bounce and not think nothing. That's a toxic man she's talking about. That's not a real man. Because a real man that got love for a woman or really want a woman to be in his life, he going to develop feelings for this woman. So what she displaying right there is a toxic nature of thinking that men just don't got no feelings. That's crazy, man. Just going to want to fuck me my whole life, your the whole rest of your life, you know. I think it's not really... Um, uh, what's the name? Realistic. There we go. Oh, yeah. I don't think it's realistic. I feel like it's so hard with all we see. Like, I'm going to see a dude and I'm going to be like, damn, me fine. You know? Not saying I want to go and fuck him, but I know for guys, it's a little different. You might see a girl and be like, I would like to fuck her. Every time a guy see a woman that look good that he feeling he's going to want to smash because he's a man. That's normal. You understand? That's normal. If a guy see a woman that he's attracted to, his first initial thought is, man, I would like to hit that. That's normal. At the same time, do that man want that woman long term to be in his life? I don't think Melly understands that. I think that she has this mindset of thinking that, OK. He, he want to get with me because he want to sleep with me, but do he want to stay? Because I'm just being honest. A lot of those guys, they just want to fuck. That's it. They just want that experience. They just want the experience to say, I was blowing Melly's back out. That's it. But none of them are really focused on, hey, I'm trying to make this woman my wife. Or I'm trying to make this woman my concubine. Or I'm just trying to make this woman my woman and actually build something serious. These guys are not thinking about that. It's just the experience. That's what they're looking for. She don't understand that. It's not going to be like, you're going to like her like that. It's really like, you want to fuck her. As long as you don't bring me diseases or babies. Now notice that. She said, as long as you don't bring me diseases and as long as you don't bring me babies. So basically what Melly is saying is that if I got with another woman, I can't have any children with that woman. But it's okay for me to smash. Does that make sense? So basically, she's stopping my legacy. She's working against me. She's not really being a helpmate. So although it may sound like Melly is down with polygyny, she's really not. She just is under this misconception that men are going to go out there and fuck around with some woman because of her own experiences. So rather than getting with a man and having this mindset of, oh, he's going to be monogamous and never, ever mess with a woman, being that she may have had experience with multiple guys and hurts and pains and all this other BS, she probably figured, you know what? Hey, if you went out there and you went with some woman and smashed, hey, I don't care. Just don't bring me no diseases. Just don't bring me no children. But see, that's the problem. With the other guy that she was just talking to, she said she don't care if he got hoes. But what about the diseases? What about the baby mamas that he got? So where's that relationship going with that guy? If he already have baby mamas that got babies and he already got hoes. And this is what I'm saying, that women contradict themselves and they really don't know what they want. Because the whole goal of a man getting with more than one woman is to have children. If I'm dealing with a woman and I'm feeling her, I'm trying to have children. That's my goal. Building family. But a lot of these guys, 
They're not interested in that. Again, the, the loser guy, the toxic guy that she was just previously talking to, that dude is not interested in having no damn family. He already got baby mamas out there that he don't give a fuck about. Come on now, let's make it make sense. So women should have enough common sense to realize like, hold up, let me see. So this guy has two baby mamas or whatever the case is out there. Okay, is he taking care of all of these women or are they just baby mamas? Do he have a functional relationship with these women where he's in the, the woman's life, taking care of the kids, doing what he got to do, providing for these women, an active father? Is he doing that? If not, then he ain't shit. So I'm trying to figure out how is it that Melly, with all the information that she give you guys in terms of how to get these women and how to have the five steps to this, how is it that she can't see that? How is it that she can't see that these men are no good, but she's going on dates with them? Hey. Or problems like when the girls comes to me or anything, I'm cool. Are you still cool with that if he had not retired you? Yeah. We can both work. I, I don't give a fuck. That has nothing to do with you still fucking a bitch here and there when you feel like it. But I need, you need to make me feel like you, I'm number you the top, one. You like, the top priority. If, I tell, if you have a, a date with that girl and I tell you tonight I want to go do that, you need to call her and be like, yo, I can't tonight. Wow. So basically, she runs the house. She just basically told you guys that if she tell you, let's say you, let's say MTR is about to go out and mess with this chick. And Melly's like, look, tonight, I'm going to spend time with you. You're going to have to cancel that. That's what she basically said you got to do. So if you obey, then you're not the man. She wear the pants in the house. You don't got no manhood, bro. You've been emasculated. Just because she don't have a problem with you smashing other women, she still control you. She don't respect you, bro. I'm just saying, she don't respect you. If, if, if your woman is telling you that, hey, you trying to go spend time with that woman tonight? Nah, I need, I need for you to be home tonight. And you obey? She controls you. Mm-mm. If I make plans to get with this sister over here, I'm not listening to Melly. How the fuck she going to tell me what I got to do? And I'm a man. Are you kidding me? Me going with that sister tonight, most, most likely it's probably tonight I'm supposed to get that sister pregnant. So why the fuck I'm going to listen to her? You get what I'm saying? You're not showing yourself to be a man. You, you, you're a clown. And this is what I'm seeing here. This, this is just not making sense, man. Like, she doesn't really matter. She's just here, like, to please you kind of thing. And get the so he, she just basically said that the woman that you messing with is just there to please you. She don't really matter. Why should you matter, though? So, so you want me to treat this woman like shit, but you don't mind that I'm fucking her? Come on, that's toxic. I supposed to, she's supposed to matter. How you expect you to matter if I don't make her matter? Come on now. That don't even make sense. Basically, what Melly is suggesting is that I shouldn't care about that other woman's feelings, even though I'm smashing her. That's crazy. That's toxic. As a woman, you shouldn't even be thinking like that. You should be concerned about that other sister's feelings. You should be concerned that, hey, she should matter to me. You should be like, look, do you love her? Do you care about her? No, nah, I don't care about her. I just wanted to smash. That should make you feel some type of way as a woman. Like how you with a dude and he's smashing these women and he don't got no love for these women and you cool? Something wrong with you. Exactly. But I'm, I'm that girl. That's all I need. I don't know. What do you think about that? I think that that's toxic because it's one thing to want to feel loved and special. But at the same time, as a woman, you got to understand that as men, there's no way he's just focusing on you only. I can have love for this sister. It's like, like I tell these women all the time. I got a wife. I got a whole family. I got four daughters. 
You get what I'm saying? So if I'm messing with some sister, I'm going to let her know, look, I got my wife here. I got my daughters there. That way she's on point in terms of what it is. I practice polygyny. I'm trying to fuck with you. I'm trying to build with you. So the ball is in her court. Now, if she's feeling a brother, she's going to rock with me either way. She don't care what woman I got. Guys, women do not care what woman you got. They don't care. I'm telling you they don't care, bro. If a woman feeling you, that's all that matters. She don't give a fuck about what woman you got, bro. It's when you fall for their SHIT test where they try to emasculate you to keep you exclusive. Don't fall for that test. Make sure that you stand firm on who you are as a man. You know? You come around a sister, don't act like you single. Ain't no such thing as a man being single. Every man got a woman somewhere. Why do you think in the video, Melly asked the other guy, so how many holes you got? Because there's no way dude can say he's single. How you single, you a former NBA player. So you ain't getting no head, bro? You ain't got no woman? It don't make no sense Melly talking to you if you don't got no woman. You see what I'm saying? Because women are not going to talk to you if you can't pull no women, bro. That's just the facts. And I'm not saying that's something that needs to happen. Yeah. Like, we can just be me and you and we're perfectly fine. But is it something, like, you kind of want? I don't think I'm going to say no. As long as I'm happy with you, you provide what I need. And not money-wise, you know, mm -hmm. what I need. And um, I don't care, like... And see, while she's talking to the dude, right, what, what she don't understand, fam, and, and, you know, this is the game, bro. When you talking like that, being vulnerable to toxic men, men that really don't care, men that are really not trying to settle down, men that are not trying to build a family, right, that is when you get taken advantage of as a woman. Because you're saying what you would put up with, but... You're, you're doing this with men that are toxic. So you're going to get played. In the end, you're going to be the one hurt because it's not like you're dealing with a good man who's a righteous man. Because, see, as a brother that practiced polygyny, I understand that I cannot just go outside fucking different women, raw dogging and doing all this crazy stuff if I'm not serious about this woman. Because that makes no sense. Eventually, you're going to get burned, bro. Eventually, you're going to get caught out there. Eventually, you're going to get a woman pregnant that you don't want to get pregnant. So her saying that you could just go out there and just smash whatever you want to smash, just don't bring me back no STDs and no babies, that's toxic, that's crazy, it makes no sense. Because why, why should a man even put himself in that predicament? If you're going to be smashing a sister, bro, it should be a woman that you're really trying to build with, a woman that you're really feeling, a woman that you want to have kids with. It makes no sense to just be opening yourself to all of these damn spirits and these damn demons. And it ain't nothing really serious there. Because as a man, you got to be concerned about, hey, I got a woman, so I got to make sure that she's healthy. So, hey, if I'm messing with this sister over here, I got to make sure that she's good. She have a clean bill of health. I got to make sure. So that if you raw dogging, shorty, hey, you good to go. But now... If you the dude that don't got no feelings for these women and you just got holes, that's crazy, bro. You putting yourself at risk and you putting your woman at risk. That's toxic. She seemed to be okay with dudes that are toxic. That's madness, bro. And that tells me about her, bro. Real talk. And this is why I keep telling you, women don't come to you as good women. It takes a good man to influence a woman so that she could get on his frequency. See, I know that as a man, when I come around women, they fucked up already. But when they come around me and I start to talk and I start to break things down and they start to hear my and, and they're influenced by me, then what happens is my energy begins to rub off on them. And now they're able to adjust to the frequency of Ringo. Now they understand how to move. Now they understand what I'm looking for, what I'm about. A lot of these guys just want to smash. And that's what. Women, they just don't get it, bro. They don't get it. I was talking to to one of my to one of my dude before, and he was like, "Why you're not jealous and stuff?" And I'm just like, 
I don't know if it's because my level of confidence is so high, mm -hmm. but I just feel like a girl is not gonna take you from me because it's like I'm so good to, to my dude when I'm with him that I really feel like nobody can take you. Yeah, she might be prettier, she might be cuter, she might f you better, but like I'm good looking, I got a good head on my shoulder. I'm here to help you. I'm here to provide for you whatever you need, like mental, whatever. So I feel like for you to find a girl that is like me is going to take you a minute. See, that right there is going to get you in trouble. Because a lot of women think like this. They just really think they the shit. And really, none of them ain't shit. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, I'm just keeping it a buck. All women got problems and issues. They all think they the bomb. But if that's the case, if you really bomb like that, why your dude want to go get some 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 uh, some other chicks on the side? If you really got it popping and you really got it going on like that, then why would he have a desire for another woman? Because you're just not enough. See, once you understand as a woman, right, and this goes for any woman that's listening, you're never enough for a man. You know what I mean? Men have appetites and men have purpose. You know what I mean? Whether it's building family, whether it's having another woman's companionship and so on and so forth, you're just never enough for that one man. You know, so don't ever say stuff like, yo, you think that you're this and that and you don't think he can ever find another woman that that, that all of that is going to get you in trouble and heartbroken because you're going to learn the hard way that you could be as fine as you want to be. A man would get with another woman who is not even all that attractive. It's just the way she make him feel and he would kick it with her because she's just cool like that. Whereas you might look way better than her, but to him, this other woman make him feel good. And she's not even all that. You would look at her and be like, oh, she's a five. She's, she's not even all that. But to him, she have great conversations. She treats him good and her energy is on point and he appreciates that, you know? So being looking good from head to toe don't mean nothing. You know what I mean? It's about how that man feel when he's around you. And if you're smart and you realize that um, what I bring to you, you're not going to leave. So I'm not really pressed about, I want to fuck that girl. She's so cute. Yeah, fuck her. She's just cute. She might be smart and all, but I know she's in my head. I feel like she's not going to be me. You see? She don't have a problem with you smashing the sister, but she, in her head, she will never be me. That's competitive jealousy right there. That's what women are normally doing. They're always competing against other women. I keep telling sisters, stop all of that competitive stuff because guys don't care about none of that. And if she's better for you, go for it then. Mm. I don't want to hold you up and for you to think, oh, well, you know, I really like that girl, but I'm going to stay with you. No, go. So basically, right there is more proof that if he likes the woman and have feelings for her, in her mind, okay, go with her now, which means I'm going to separate from you. Do you see that, guys? Once she realized that you got love for another woman, that is when Melly is going to want to separate from you and say, okay, it's time for me to go. Because now you're, you're breaking cold. I don't mind if you wanted to hit it up, but if you catching feelings for this woman, that's when I feel like I'm insecure now. You're going to make me feel like I'm not good enough for you. And this is the weakness of all women. And it's sad that they even do this to themselves. I think it's the ultimate happiness to know that you don't have really somebody to tell you what you need to do, but you just do it because that's what you want to do. W. Melly's down into the chat. <laughs> w. Melly's down into the chat. Uh, Man, I don't, you like I was, that? I was lost in what you were saying there. For really? A yeah, I'm like. I Man. mean, a lot of people don't, don't feel like, like it's that. not it's not real or whatever. But I really don't want to tell you what to do, and I feel like because I'm yeah, giving you that freedom, you freedom. Notice, she said, "I'm giving you that freedom." <laughs> she just said, "I'm giving you that freedom, bro." Did you just hear what she just said? Did Eric put a one in the chat if you just heard her say, "I'm giving you." That freedom. No woman is giving me no damn freedom. I do what the fuck I want to do. If I want to stay out all night, I'm staying out all night. If I want to go sleep by another woman's house, I'm going to go sleep by that woman's house. No woman is telling me shit. 
None. Serious. Doesn't matter. Because, you know, a lot of times women will give you those little tests. Like, could you stay out? Could you stay by my house? Could you do this? Those are tests to see where you can do. You understand? She just said she's given him the freedom. That's crazy. And, and these guys are not paying attention. Now, you would have think that MTR would have probably been like, hold up, whoa. What do you mean you giving me the freedom? Like, you tripping. Freedom to do what? To be a man? Nah. Because I'm giving you that freedom, most likely you might not even do it. You might try it. Okay, I'm going to go fuck her, fuck her. And at the end of the day, you're going to come home and be like, yo, I really fuck with her. Mm. You see? In her mind, she think that, oh, you might go out once in a blue, bang some shit to some chick. And all of a sudden now it's like, you know what? I don't feel like doing this no more. I'm just going to stay with you home, baby, and just chill with you. I fuck with that. I fuck with everything you just said. Okay. They say Melia Keeper. She's naturally... No, don't you deflect. Wait, hold up. Did you just say the chat? <laughs> <laughs> no. Melia the goat. I'm the goat for that. I think it's a mentality that we should have, and it would alleviate a bunch of problems. See, notice. It sounds as if though Melly have the right mind. It sounds like Melly is in support of men that practice polygyny, but really she's not. She's really monogamous. She just been hurt so many times and seen men fool around with women so many times that she's like, look, I'm not even gonna waste my time trying to think that you're not doing nothing. So I'm just gonna let you know, hey, if you do something, hey, these are the rules. This is what it is. Just don't come back with no STDs or no unwanted pregnancies. She's accepting that much. Because she know that as a man, you're going to go out there and mess with some other woman. That she knows. And that comes from experience. Let's get back to the tape. Um, what do you think about that? Is it something that you would do? Uh, is that something that you would want? Or is it something like, no, it's no other Absolutely. people. It's just me and you and we're done. Um, no. Um, I like everything that you were saying. Uh, it was music to my ears. It was music to his ears because... That makes him feel like, hey, I could just go outside and bang whatever woman I, I got. I don't got to hide nothing. I don't got to do this. I don't got to do that. Rather than him just being a man and just do what he got to do as a man, he figure, hey, I got to keep her right here. I think that it deserves um, a great degree of respect. I agree with you. It's interesting that he says it deserves a great deal of respect. But when I teach on a polygyny in terms of a man can have more than one wife, women are always throwing stones at me. Think about that. Anytime I talk about these topics in terms of a man having more than one wife, women being in my comments talking about, I'm not sharing no man. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. You see how that works? But they, they sing the woman's praises because of what she's doing. But she never really said she agrees with a man having more than one wife. She don't really agree with that. I can promise you. Melly do not agree with that. She want you to be exclusive to her. And that's going to be the reason why she's going to be a single baby mama or just single for life because no man is going to be good enough for her. I, especially for guys because, like, dudes can, you know what I'm saying, like, have sexual relations with women and it not be any emotional mm -hmm. connection. That's bullshit that he just said right there, that a dude can have sexual relations with a woman and have no emotional connection. That doesn't make no sense. He's capping. There's, that makes no sense whatsoever. The only way a man can do that is if he's just pumping and dumping, smashing and dashing, and he got no love for women. But when a man is truly feeling a woman and he want to take care of her, have a family with her, and protect her, that man is going to have feelings for this woman. And that's a fucked up thing the dude just said right there. But for some reason, you could look at her face and you could see in her eyes, in her face, that she know that's toxic, bro. That's crazy. You deserve better than that. That doesn't even make no sense. Because if, if a dude is saying that he can smash a woman and not have no feelings whatsoever, then he can fuck you and not have no damn feelings too. Straight like that. Right? That mean that MTR can smash Melly and not have no feelings whatsoever and just keep it pushing. That mean old boy NBA baller can smash Melly and just keep it moving and I have no feelings. I mean, if you if you if you listening to dudes tell you this, then they could do it to you. And in the end, that's what's gonna end up happening. They're gonna get played.
So I don't think that it makes sense for women to engage in that same type of behavior. Because most women cannot do that and just, you know, keep their mind free and clear of the situation. Mm -hmm. Now, notice that. These are all talking points that I've done talked about many times over the years in terms of women were never designed to go out there having sexual relations with multiple men. That's where the soul ties come in. That's where the body count increase and they take on the spirits of all these men that they deal with. And this is why a lot of women suffer from insecurities and various problems is because of all the guys that, they, that she either slept with, guys that she was acquainted with and so and so forth, which cause and shapes her mind in terms of uh, attracting the same kind of toxic men. I can guarantee you that Melly always attract men that are the same, same kind of guys every single time. Same kind of guys. He'll have some money, same damn demon every single time. And sometimes she's probably looking at herself like, damn, every single guy I'm attracting is the same type of damn guy. And it's probably driving her crazy. More often than not, there's some type of emotional tie as well. It don't mean that there's not sluts out there mm -hmm. that can just forego it. But more often than not, those are the population of women that indulge in prescription med medication. Notice prescription medication. Why is he saying that? It goes back to everything I teach over the years. They have mental problems because of all the DNA that they take in, fam. Every time a woman engage with a man, she's taking in his DNA. This is where women go through what is known as the metamorphosis, where she begins to transform into the image and likeness of that man. She takes on his attitudes. She takes on his personality. She takes on the demons that he carry, the good, the bad, the ugly, anything that that man is into, she takes on that nature. So if you factor in and calculate all of the men that women deal with and add up all of that situations, she's literally engulfed with demons, bro. Soul ties, all sorts of problems, resentment, anger, bitterness, you name it. You know, and then when you get with her, she's punishing you. You know, it is what it is, fam. Somebody need to be packed up, y'all said. Let me see what's going on. Uh, reality need to be packed up. Let's see what's going on. What are you saying? Um, Kim, you just don't like the truth. Mad. Oh, yeah, you can't do that, fam. We got to pack you up. Can't come into the chat fighting and arguing and insulting people. That's not going to slide here, fam. Okay. Makes sense? Yes. So, we got another question. But quick, wait, I have another one before you. That's so why I'm telling you, let's say, like, um, that you can go and talk to girl. Not talk, but like, if you want to fuck a girl that you find is attractive, you do what you... I want you to So you do mean if exactly. I'm dating you, and then there's a chick that's, you know, I just want to just... Is that what you no, mean? no, because okay. that's what I'm saying. But more like yeah. the other way around. If there is a dude and I'm like looking at him and I'm like, I want to him, is that okay? Never. Or it's not okay. No. So it's only one way. Yes. It's only one way. A hundred percent. Notice that. Notice how he just said it's only one way. Basically, he he wants polygyny, but he's not saying it. You get what I'm saying here? Because he's basically saying that she can't go out there and get fucked by some other guy. That it's one way, which mean, hey, you my woman exclusive. I'm not going to have you out here getting with this guy and that guy. Now, I'll deal with multiple women, need be, but you can't. Basically, he's saying that's polygyny. That's polygyny in a nutshell. He's basically saying, I want you to be my woman. I don't want you out there getting banged by this guy and that guy. So she's probably listening to him like, bro, so hold up. You wanted an open relationship, but it's only open for you, not for me. You see what I'm saying? Listen, fam. Yes, without question. Okay. No. See that? Without a question, nope. I don't want nobody else touching you. Which is the way it's supposed to be. If 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 she's your woman, nobody else supposed to be banging your woman. But again, if you're a man and you practice a polygyny, that doesn't doesn't that doesn't mean. You go out there smashing every woman that you see like like there's no tomorrow. That doesn't even make no sense. Whatever happened to taking care of these women and building families and building generational wealth? Like whatever happened to that? These guys don't have that in their mind, fam. All they're thinking about is smashing. That's it. They don't have no soul. And it's because of who Melly is. She's attracting these kind of men. All the guys that you see her in videos with going on dates. 
all these guys want to do is just fuck. That's it. I promise you. That's it. That's all they want. They're not trying to make this woman no damn wife. They just want to they just want to hit. That's it. They're not thinking about building family and they're not trying to have no kids. You get what I'm saying? And it's because of who she is, she keep attracting demons. Just like the same dude. We're going to get back to the tape with him. Did you expect me to say something different? No, most men say that. Yeah, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Of course not. No. You see that? So now, we got that situation there. So now let's get back to the tapes with this. Enough. No, uh, give give us a number. How many holes? Mm-hmm. Uh, mm. Notice he got to think about how many holes he got. One, two, 25. I mean, I don't you know. So you don't want to be serious. You don't want to answer any questions, huh? No, I'm just saying, I don't know, like, what's the, who asked that? Did they, did someone, I don't know if anyone asked that. I think. Woman asks you how many women you got. It's just, it's a simple question. Like how many you got? He can't even answer the question, bro. Answer the question. How many women you got? It doesn't make any sense. You just said that. No, somebody asked. Oh, there's there's one. Who DM'd who first? Mm-hmm. Go on. Who, who DM'd who first? Um, well, I DM'd you on some business. No. She didn't DM you on no business. She DM'd you because that was her way of reaching out to say, hey, this is what it is. That's the introduction. When women say they reaching out on some business, but then now you're both going out on dates, that was the goal the whole damn time. You know? Again, guys, again, I don't know when this happened. I just found this receipt where Melly super chat $199. She ain't super chat me no $199. <laughs> because when a woman super chat you $199, especially if you don't even need it, right? Because you got bread. That's her waving her hand saying, hey, I'm over here. Hey, could, could, could we talk? Telling you what I'm telling you, fam. This is real. You know what I mean? This is real talk. Understand the game, fam. Let's get back to the tapes. Like, long time ago, before you told me to DM you. Did I, yeah. Yeah, I was, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, but then who DM'd who on some, um, like, as far as wanting to go on a date? I did that. Okay, so, so now, he DM'd her. To go on a date. Now, how many guys may have DM'd Melly Monaco? Think about how many men have DM'd Melly Monaco. Hey, how you doing? Hey, what's up, sup? Hey, what's going with it? But because he did it, she went on a date twice. What does that say about Melly Monaco? It says that if you're just this guy that, you know, nobody knows nothing about you and you kind of hit her up, she ain't even wasting her time with you. But she was quick to go out on that date twice with that guy. It says a lot, fam. Again, why Melly Monaco will become a single mother or single for life. These are my predictions because I'm looking at her actions. I'm looking at the characteristics of the choices that she's making. And I already know where it's going to go. The same way when I talk about women issues and how these women are, I can look at her choices. I can look at the kind of men she's involved with. And I already know what's going to happen. I can see it. So when it happens, I'm going to be the first one to make a video where she comes online and she says, hey, guys, I'm pregnant. <laughs> and it's going to be by Pookie and Ray Ray. Now, again, as long as she continue down this path, I promise you, fam, Pookie and Ray Ray is going to impregnate Melly Monaco. 
She's gonna be another female content creator, single mother, making videos with a baby in the background crying. <laughs> it is what it is, fam. I mean, hey, I'm very accurate when I talk about these things again. Now, she could change that course in Asia if she pretty much get herself together and stop making these dumb decisions because these guys, these guys are going to be responsible for her becoming the next single mom. And then now I want to know what kind of game she's going to give the brothers in terms of how to pick up these women. <laughs> I want to know, fam. Like, seriously. Because she's getting older, so time is running out. She's most likely in her 30s. I don't know her age, but she's probably mid-30s, fam. She's in her 30s. She's not no 20-nothing. She's in her 30s somewhere. And she's getting older. She's running out of time. She's running out of time, fam. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what else? Um, wait, Grayson, uh, maybe remember that email I sent you about him. Wow. So, wow. oh yeah, let's talk about that. You know, I've received a lot of, um, a lot of emails from uh, people who don't really appro <laughs> approve of you, I would say. So a dude basically emailed Melly about dude now that's some sucker shit now dude is toxic and a loser at the same time that's some sucker ish bro to be emailing a woman to tell her about another dude that's like i'm watching a pineapple show and i email melly or hit her up like yo melly you shouldn't talk to that guy because he got a baby mama that's some sucker-ish, bro. Even if I don't like dude. Men don't do stuff like that, fam. That's like, that's out of pocket, bro. And um, they were saying that, uh, first of all, I shouldn't talk to you because you have two baby moms and uh, being a third one would be crazy. Also, they said uh, you have um, just what you post online as far as, you know, talking crazy. And that it's not really something good. What so Melly is aware of the things this guy posts. She's aware of the baby mamas. She's aware of all of these things, but she still choose to go on dates. Why? Because she's just like him. Toxic. I promise you, fam. Look, guys, people keep getting upset with me when I do my content. Prove me wrong. Look at the kind of men that Melly attract or go on dates with. A, a quality woman, a woman that respects herself, a woman that is uh, serious about life, serious about growth, would not waste her time with toxic men. She wouldn't do it. So it says a lot about her. I know women right now in this world Women that I tried to holler at. And for whatever reason, these women, one minute it was one way, and in another minute, they started to distance themselves. And I realized what it was. It wasn't me. It was the spirit in the woman that recognized I'm not toxic. A lot of you guys, if you understand what I just said there, it'll free you from the misery and the madness that you see out here in the dating game. Women are typically always attracted to men that are toxic just like them. I promise you. When a woman is truly quality, she gravitates towards you and she pair bond. Women that are toxic, they, they, as soon as they see you, the demon that is in them, don't want to be near you because they know being around you requires her changing her ways, her improving who she is. And most women don't want to change who they are. They want to remain toxic. What you, do you want to answer that? Uh, uh, that, that? That was from who? Grayson? No, Grayson just said, uh, remember what email I sent you. So Grayson sent me an email, uh, where I think it was a video where you were talking about I pay for pussy. Wow. That you pay for pussy. 
So basically, somebody named Grayson sent Melly Monaco an email saying that there's a video. So she sent her a video of this former NBA player saying that he paid for box. Now, you know you a sucker if you paying for box. Any dude that got to pay a woman for some box is a loser. So if Melly got that email and got the receipts proven and showing that dude basically confessed to paying women for box and she's still going on dates with him, fam, then Melly's for the streets, bro. Straight like that. There's no, other, there's no way around it. That mean that she contradicts everything that she said to MTR regarding, oh, you know what I mean? Don't bring me no diseases. Don't do this. Don't do that. You know? You with a dude paying for box? Dude a straight loser. That mean he can't get women off his own, his own self. That mean he got to pay. Dude is a loser, bro. Like, there's no way around that one. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, that didn't stop you from going on two dates with me, now, did it? No, it didn't. Mm -hmm. I just want to know. And, what then, you're and he just disrespected her right there. And she didn't even see it. Because he basically just said, hey, me, even though I'm paying for box, that still didn't stop me from going on two dates with you. And she said, yeah. Hey, this is the truth, guys. I'm trying to show you. And we got a third one. So what, <laughs> what do I care for? Wow. And he said, I got a third date coming up with her. This is how you ladies be looking crazy. This is how you ladies be looking foolish out here, bro. Because these dudes literally embarrassing you on social media and you can't even see it. <laughs> you that delusional. You can't even see it, bro. Dude said, I got a third date coming up because this woman is delusional. She can't even realize that I got, I literally, I'm literally this toxic. And she's showing you guys, she likes toxic guys. Literally. Those are the guys she likes, guys. Okay. And you should have saved that five dollars, Grayson. Wow. That kind of looked like. <laughs> like, hold on. I, I'm sorry. I, I think you notice this. Somebody paid five dollars. Says Gil had girls in the back seat moaning and gagging in the back of a limousine. You see that? But notice Melly Monaco face. See, this shows what kind of woman she is, fam. Not a good woman at all, bro. I'm just keeping it a buck. Everybody want to do reaction videos, but when I do my reactions, everybody get upset. I'm keeping it a buck, fam. I don't see a good woman, bro. Prove me wrong. Because, again, a good woman is not going to be around toxic guys, man. A good woman is not going to be around toxic guys. She's going she's gonna to be like, nah, hell nah. I don't want to be around guys like this. She just told MTR... You know, what she had to say about not having women doing this and that. But now look at this. People bringing up receipts saying that dude had women in the backseat moaning and gagging in a limousine. But Melly had no problem being on a date with dude. She wouldn't even have a problem having a baby by dude. This is why the title of the video, why Melly Monaco will become a single mother or single for life, fam. I'm just keeping it a buck with you. But now listen to this. Listen to the arrogant things this guy said right here. Everything this guy is about to say is supposed to be a turnoff for women. But for Melly, for some reason, she's not saying nothing about it. She's not giving him no pushback. If it was some normal guy on a pineapple show, they would have hanged up the phone. They would have did this. They would have did that. Let's listen to it. You think I'm normal? I don't know the fuck you think I am, Grayson. Like, wow. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. But uh, you, you think you can like out mac me you think you can out talk me to a woman like you think this is my real personality on here you think if me and you went to talk to a woman you think you can out talk a dude who who's in the nba got this face and you know i have you know no offense women at my disposal women like, at you think disposal. like me sitting in super chats on the super chat thing 
um, is how I actually get girls. You don't think I can just DM girls? How about this? Do you think I can just DM the girl that's on the pineapple show? Instead of coming up here, I can just DM her straight to the, because I got the blue check. Right? You know, the blue check. So I can just, hey, what's that in the shorty scene you on the thing? Hey, you know, boom, boom, boom. Here's my number. You don't really think that. Yeah. Damn, bro. You look like a straight sucker, bro. Like all that boasting just proved to me that these dudes with these blue check marks really think they the ish. Dude said in the beginning, he was like, yo, you think that I'm normal? You think that I'm normal? So basically he's saying that he's a better dude than you brothers, that he's not normal. So I guess you guys out there are normal. I want to know, fam, to this brother here. What kind of blood do you have in your veins, fam? Is it normal blood or is it some other type of blood? I want to know. Like, what kind of blood is ro is flowing through your veins? Is it is it uh you know blood unleaded? Is it some sort of what kind of blood is it? Is it normal blood or I don't know because it's like these dudes, bro. It's like that level of boasting. Is supposed to be designed to turn a woman off. But for some reason, Melly smiles. I don't get it, fam. You notice on the pineapple show, right? Anytime dudes is cutting up, they just pineapple him and get him up on out of there. But this dude is allowed to just say whatever he want. Which says a lot, fam. It's crazy. This is how it is, guys. Women normally deal with toxic men. The signs are there, guys. These are the signs. It's right before you, fam. Are you going to send an email? <laughs> He's sending you an email like I'm just regular. Get <laughs> the fuck out of here. Notice he said, you sending an email like I'm just regular. So dude feeling himself. He's like, I'm not regular. And this is how these dudes are. This is how they are, fam. And this is why you women are always getting your back blown out, having all these damn babies out of wedlock from losers, and you end up being a so-called baby mama for an NBA baller collecting child support. It's the same thing every single day, man. These kind of guys are not family-orientated men. These are not the type of guys that build legacy and family and take care of the women that they have in their life. These are the kind of men that are so toxic they just want the experience of knowing that they smash X, Y, and Z. That's what it's about, fam. Boy. <laughs> oh, my God. What's wrong with the Grayson dude? The, the, dude is... the dude is literally digging himself into a hole. And she can't see it, bro. And then you got another guy. He paying $10 to say men sending emails about other men. I mean, I agree what he's saying. Men shouldn't be doing that. That's some sucker-ish. But at the same time, all of this boasting is unnecessary. If you really a baller, if you really a dude that that got it popping and you got it, you know what I'm saying? You just got it like that, fam. You don't got to talk all of that type of stuff. You don't got to say I got a blue check mark. Nobody give a fuck about your damn check mark, bro. Like, fam, dudes out here doing all sorts of stuff. They don't got no check marks. Like that type of boasting is just like, it's just unacceptable, fam. There's no need for that. You know, it makes a man look weak. That's like a dude flashing money all day, talking about how much money he, he got. Dude, you're going to get played by women doing that. But then there's some dudes, they know, hey, I got money and I know that the, the, the woman is with me for the money. I know. So they don't mind getting used because they using the woman to get that box. That's about it. They paying for the box. Silly. <laughs> you say silly okay uh q thank you for the ten dollar super chat men sending email on other men hey grayson you might how about this you should listen you should just you go to costa rica you should just shut that down before i show up oh you're gonna that's show crazy up. all of those guys are saying wow is that gill on the pineapple show i don't even know who dude is <laughs> i don't have no clue who this dude is bro Cause it seems like everybody on YouTube trying to be content creators now. <laughs> Rappers, former NBA players. <laughs> Man, it's, it's crazy, fam. Let's get back to the tape. Do you see your face? You see your face? Did you see your face when I said I might show up? She got all cheesy and red. 
Mm, no. <laughs> Dude said because she did what she did that she got all cheesy and red. This is sad, man. I don't know, man. Like, you ladies are on a on a world of destruction, bro. Like, they can't even see where they going, fam. This is crazy. I didn't get red. I just smiled. Relax. I'm trying Relax. to tell Whatever. Uh, is that girl I'll on the phone? I'll pull up. I'll pull, <laughs> I'll pull up the Costa Rica. Fuck your mood up. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Uh, okay, so uh, anything else you, you want to say about the, the date? Because you didn't say much. Uh, um, or even the first one, because you, I mean, we haven't talked about any. So... Okay, so tell me, what did you like about me on the first date? Uh oh, what did you like about me on the first day? What I like about okay, okay so I, you know, I did my research first. So um, um, I have a I, okay. So here, here's here here, I I will. Um, uh, okay. Um, <laughs> the problem the problem is this, right? So. Dude can't answer questions, bro. That's the ultimate red flag, fam. It's like as a man, right? And see, this is why I keep saying that you women be wasting your fucking time. You give your time to men that have no purpose. No conversation. Can't even talk. Can't even answer simple questions. Why is this guy taking you on dates? Why are you going on these dates? What's the agenda? What's the purpose? What is the bottom line of his goals? What is he trying to do? He trying to settle down, build a family, take care of you, X, Y, and Z? Or is he just trying to smash? See, this is where you got to just cut the BS. And this is why I feel that as women, sometimes you just got to call a guy out on his bullshit and just be like, look, you trying to make me your wife? Or you just trying to fuck me? Say that next time. Put a dude right on the spot. Put him in that hot seat. Because as a woman, when you tell a man straight up like that, like, you trying to make me your woman? Or you just trying to fuck? Which one? Put him on the spot. Let's get to, let's get to the point. No playing, no sugarcoating, no, no, we don't got no damn time. Because these dudes are running so much damn game and you ladies are falling for all of it because you're dumb. And this is what I'm seeing here. It's like, it's just, it's just crazy. She just asked him a question he couldn't even answer. You know, like I read that, oh, he doesn't have game. He doesn't like the game that you guys will see plays to my advantage, right? The advantage is this. Um, my world is public right so you can see who i am in a sense where you know you know the baby mamas um the the hoes my instagram you know what nba players do to pick up women right so there's the positive and then there's a negative right um, there's the red flags. Now, when I'm going on date with women, right, they already have their list of red flags that they will be looking for, and they have the positives that they're not going to be paying attention to, like, you know, money, you know, um, we go to places I'll be recognized. So I take out the money part. That's why I, you know, made her pick me up, um, you know, pretending I don't have a car, make her drive. But at the end of it, but. So you pretend you don't have a car, but you got bread, right? So you can see if she drives. So you playing all these damn games. See, the dude is a loser, bro. How could you pretend that you don't got no car? These games, these, these. I... <sighs> how old is dude, bro? Do anybody know? How, how old is this dude? Anybody know how old dude is, bro? Because... I don't know, man. The dude is acting like a kid, bro.
he almost 40 and act like a kid. So he's 40 something. That makes it even worse, bro. Other than that, I stay away from what a red flag is. Like, I don't go out. Um, I'm not going to be in the headlines for women, so I'm really low key. So when I go on a date, you know, I know she's looking for something or any woman's going to be looking for something, right? Which means as long as I'm me, they won't see any of the red flags, will, which gives me the edge on the women. So I'm not going to be in there boasting about how much money I have and doing all the bragging. And But you were just bragging earlier, fam. <laughs> you were just saying that you're not normal and that you have women at your disposal. <laughs> That's what you said. Somebody said, maybe you can pull up in a jet. And you says, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> See, I'm very attentive and I can hear and I can remember everything you said. You know? You're not making any sense. It's like you're speaking a whole bunch of nothing, wasting everybody's time. Basically, you're saying you're manipulative. You're a liar. That's basically what you're doing. You're trying to hide who you really are so that the red flags are not shown and the women that you deal with aren't able to see that you're a devil in disguise. You really don't got nothing about yourself other than the fact that you were in the NBA. Other than that, you're just another loser. <laughs> you do know that losers can have money too. Just saying. You can have all the money in the world and still be a loser. I mean, even the Bible says, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? So your money doesn't earn you any respect. Not from me. Because I can see that you're a loser. I mean, Melly don't know that yet. She don't know that. But let's get back to the tapes. You know, like, so the worst thing for me to go on a date is go there and other women, like, that'd be like a red flag for me. I go on a date with a woman and then other girlfriends are popping up and shit like that. So, um, so you're worried about other girls popping up, but I thought you got hoes. I thought you got multiple women. I thought that, you know, it doesn't matter. You a baller. You're not normal. Remember? So who cares if other girls pop up? That's how you know these dudes be hiding, bro. Listen, man, y'all got to start calling out these damn losers for who they are, fam. <laughs> right? Yeah. So, you know, I, I have an advantage because I know what someone would be looking for. Um, the so basically, you're a manipulator. You're literally telling the woman, I'm a manipulator. That's what he's saying, fam. Funny thing, that's why I said she's going to pay. Uh, she's going to pay. Did you pay? No. Okay. You didn't, huh? So you didn't pay for the first date or the second date? I, okay, I tried to pay on the first date and you said no. Okay, how about the second date? Oh. <laughs> okay, so no. I mean, you want me to tell? Okay, I'm so. Asking, I'm just asking a question. Got a trick in y'all. No, I'm just playing. Um. <laughs> so second date, um, he put his card and it got declined. <laughs> uh -huh. It got declined and then I put my card and I paid, but then he cash at me. Yeah, because he did that to set you up to see whether or not you would pay, which is an old trick that is childish and dumb. It's really dumb and stupid to see whether or not you're after the money. How could somebody that got money have a card that is declined? Let it make sense. You understand? But because women are dumb, they fall for the buffoonery. So I didn't pay. So look, like, so just but like- you didn't, But wait, because you're talking out of that- pay, So you didn't pay for it. Uh, I didn't pay, but you haven't answered my first question though. What's your first question? My first question was, what did you like about me? On the first date. Notice he still haven't answered the question. What did you like about her? Like, what's going on with dude 
you can't tell this woman what you like. See, that's a red flag right there. He's not answering the question, fam. That ought to make a woman be like, damn, dude don't really, dude ain't really feeling me like that. What up, I'm on the first date, what did I like about you? Yep. What he liked is that he wanted to fuck. That's what he wanted to do. And that's about it. I'm just giving you the game straight. Dude is just trying to smash. But he's not being thorough in terms of what he's looking for. Now, Melly might be on a different frequency. Maybe she's like, look, I'm at the, at the age right now where it's like, hey, I'm trying to settle down. And she's trying to settle down with all the wrong guys. But dude is not thinking about that. He's just like, yo, that's that YouTuber woman. Oh, I'm going to try. I'm going to definitely try to hit that, fam. Definitely. I think I can do it, fam. I got a blue check mark. Um, your demeanor, um, your energy, smile. Oh, and she's, hey, listen, she's, she's a big softy, y'all. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> that's to get you distracted. He just played another move on you right there. He's not really answering the question. He just distracted you to get you to grin and laugh, throw you off your game. <laughs> yeah, she's a big softy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you know, just like the, the, the mothering um, feeling that you gave. Mothering feeling that you gave? What? Mothering feeling that you gave. So she makes you feel like she's your mother? Sir, Melly make you feel like she's your mother? That's what you're telling a woman. She asks you, what did you like about her? Ladies, do you see how these guys, when you ask them these questions, they just don't know how to, they don't know how to talk to you? This is just sad, man. You know, she ordered for me. I, listen, it was like r r role reversal. And you know what's so funny about this, fam? It's the smiles on her face that's funny because when she end up pregnant and a single mom, that's when you're going to see a different face. When the things that I talk about come to pass, she's not going to have that smile. I've seen these type of scenarios happen many times with women and it's it's just sad and it's always from some goofy loser every single time and then one of you guys end up becoming her step the step daddy to her kid because you just want to hit it so eventually when she become a single mom one of you guys are going to be the step daddy to the to the child because not because you want to be the step daddy but because you want to sleep with Melly. You always wanted to sleep with her so it's like I don't mind being a step daddy now. That's what's going to happen too. She was the male. I wasn't. You see that? I wasn't the male. You, yeah, you was older, the male. She was ordering for me, ordering my drinks. Like, no, you I, asked I, me. I the place. You asked me to order because you were like you having issues deciding and I said, okay, I'll pick. That's it. That wasn't me ordering for you. Like, you know, it wasn't so much like, oh, no, I'll order. It was more, oh, you don't know. And I said, okay, I'll pick for you. So, yeah. Role reversal, y'all. See, that's role reversal. Uh, Notice he's entertaining role reversal, fam. So basically, he's saying that he's the woman. So, bro. You the woman? <laughs> if she's the man, then you must be the woman. I'm telling you, bro, dude is a straight loser, bro. Okay, that's it? Dude still didn't answer the question. Huh? She tried to kiss me? You want me to say that? Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing, y'all. I didn't try. That's another red flag right there. Because if a woman is really feeling you, fam, I told you, she's going to be touchy-feely. When a woman is really feeling you, she's going to be all up on you, next to you. This is what she's going to be doing, fam. So we got to think. 
Is Melly just rocking with this dude for the clout? Is it an opportunity to get her numbers up, to hit that million subscriber mark? Because when she did her videos with MTR, she was around 400K. And now she's at around 600 and something K. And she had passed MTR at one point, but MTR caught back up to her. So could it be that this connection is really just business, not really anything? Or is she just the type of woman that just keep attracting trash? I mean, she's actually going on these dates, so there got to be something there. Women normally never waste their time going on these damn dates unless there's an agenda. You understand? It's just like a woman is not going to text you unless she feeling you in some sort of way or is trying to get something from you. If that makes sense. Right? Because again, this guy said he got hoes. He got baby mamas. So he already done made it very clear what kind of man he is. He's not the kind of guy that's going to settle down and be a husband or just be a man in general to a woman. That's not, he's just not that guy. His Instagram, his social medias clearly is the red flag that tell, should tell any woman what they need to know. But like most women, they, they just don't get it. They're just slow. Caught her off guard. What's up? No, but no, we had a we had a um, very great date. Like, I'm doing I'm doing the same thing. You got to think about the position that I'm in. Um, um, like, if you look at my history of women I've done chose, I got to do the same thing too. I got to look for red flags. I got to look for girls who want me for my money. Um, I got to look for girls that that if we're in public, how many the dudes they dated so i gotta have my games too right i gotta have so he's playing games yeah my little traps to forget that traps at my car oh i forgot my car um you know fraud now she's shaking her head because she's saying to herself so that's why your card was declined or i gotta do all that just to see if she would pull out her wallet you know what i mean like i just want to see if i didn't have it will she do it so the first time um she pulled out a wallet like, no, oh, you're not going to pay, right? The second time, um, yeah, I put my card, let it cancel, see if she's going to pay for it, and then I just send her the money back. You know what I mean? I got I, I have games, too. Why are you playing games? Wow. Huh? Why are you playing games? Um, because I got to make sure that the person that I'm, you know, conversating with, you know, has my best interest at heart, too. I don't know. I don't like those games things because I don't play games with you. I'm not trying to. See, right there is where she got offended. Right there is where she really got offended. Like, seriously, if you if you look at her facial expression, if you listen to the tone in her voice, she was actually really offended right there. But being that she's on live, she have to remain in character. But speak in a manner where she makes her point across. In other words, she's letting him know, like, I didn't really like what you just did there. Like, you you really, you really sound like a jerk. You get what I'm saying? Well, I'm sorry. Well. <laughs> You're like, well, I'm done with it. <laughs> but then she starts smiling and laughing, bro. I tell you. These women is something else, bro. I'm sorry, but you know. So you passed. <laughs> wow, you passed. So that means no more games, or that means there is more games to come? I don't know. I mean, you wouldn't know. I mean, you know. No, I wouldn't know. I'm asking you. I like, I like your hair. Thank you. No problem. Okay, so, so why did you want to go on more dates? No, okay. No, let me let me ask you this. Okay. Let me ask you this. No, let's answer the question. <clears throat> why you want to go on more dates? Because he want to smash. That's why. 
I mean, let's just cut to the chase. Why would he want to go on another date? Because he's trying to smash. So why you switch up the question? What are you looking for right now in your life? You're looking for somebody to, to come and join you and have a partner, or you're looking for um, just somebody to have fun with only? In other words, are you looking for a woman to have recreational use? Or are you looking for a woman to build something serious with? Let's hear what he got to say. You know, no future, no nothing. What are you right now in your life? Uh, Where are you right now. Looking for someone. Um, I, Look how he's looking up. I can't say I'm looking for. It's whatever you bring. Red flag, guys. Red flags. This guy's a loser, bro. <laughs> Any woman in her right mind would have done walked away already. Any woman that's in her right mind. Because the way he's answering should be a red flag to any lady. Is what I'm looking for. Right? It, it's not, you know, I can't say I'm, I'm, I'm looking for fun, but then, you know, a wifey comes. I can't say I'm looking for a wifey and um, fun comes, right? It's whatever you have to offer, then I will, I will judge it from there. Wow. And then I will move accordingly. He's not answering no question, fam. He's dancing around the questions, making vague statements. He's not answering nothing. You understand what I'm saying? He's causing more confusion. He's moving the goalposts. You know, so, you know, if you're trying to, you know, if you're trying to be wifey, you know. That's selling her hope, selling her dreams. If you're trying to be wifey, because in her mind, she probably like, maybe I might be able to settle down. Maybe this might be the guy. But the dude is like, listen, I ain't trying to settle down with this woman, man. I'm trying to hit, bro. I got enough money to play my little games and have my little fun. This ain't nothing for me. You get what I'm saying? Because again, if the dude was some brother that worked at Home Depot, made 45 k a year, Melly would not even be wasting her time. Trust and believe me. As soon as the guy started running his mouth or saying something out of pocket or saying anything slick, she would have hanged up the phone. I'm telling you, bro. She's doing this because the dude is on a level that in her eyes appear higher than her. And that's why she's being submissive, for lack of better words. Just putting up with what he's saying. Because in her mind, she see him up here and she's right here you get what i mean she knows this and that's why she's allowing herself to tolerate the bs because if it was any other guy and no disrespect no disrespect to any of you brothers what i'm saying is that if you were just a guy that just worked at target at the cashier checkout she would not even waste her fucking time bro I promise you, fam. Hypergamy at its best. She see dude up here. She see herself here. So she's looking up to him. Like, hey, I see you. Even though you toxic, maybe, maybe I can make you into a good guy. Maybe, maybe there's a possibility I can change you. Maybe there's a possibility. This is what women do, bro. Go ahead and shoot your shot. <laughs> it's sad, bro. I don't like that. <laughs> now, remember what I said. When women smile, a lot of times they're not smiling with you. They, they smiling at you. You get what I'm saying? A lot of times they're not smiling with you. They're smiling at you because they're hiding the fact that they're not feeling what you're saying. This is the new way women move. So don't think that because women smiling... That they like you. That doesn't mean they like you, bro. You know? She's running her little tricks that she talks about at the same time. And, and some women, they know that these dudes is full of shit. They know that, man. Women are supposed to know this. Women are supposed to look at this dude and be like, yeah, this dude is full of shit. I know what he want. I know he want to smash. I know if, if I was to give it up right now, I wouldn't even hear from this dude another day. Women know this already. But some of them play the game to see how far they can go, see what they can get out of it, see if they can 
somehow find who he is. But judging by this dude, man, I'm I'm breaking this thing down the best that I could. This is a waste of damn time, fam. Okay, they're, they're saying recreation or sex. That's what you're looking for. That's exactly huh? it. They're saying you're looking for recreation or sex. Look at his face. Yeah, I can dumb. I don't know. You didn't know I have Instagram? Wow. They don't know I got Instagram? We're talking about Melly, fam. So you saying you don't want to smash? So you saying you don't want to split Melly legs open? What do you mean you got Instagram, fam? See, this guy, this dude is dancing around. He's dancing. He's not. He's not being truthful. The people in the chat is saying that you just want Melly for recreational use. You know, recreational use. That's what you want her for. So she just want to hear what you got to say. Just answer the question like you don't want to smash. You scared? How did he respond? Don't these guys know I got Instagram? Do you see how he dodged the question, walks around it, not answering it? Yeah, I'm sure. Man. I'm sure. So, um... Uh, man. Oh. Did they see my edits? Do y'all see some of the edits where, you know... Bro, do you want to smash Melly or not, bro? Like, what's the matter with dude? Do you want her for recreational use? That's what the audience is saying. Do you want to? She know you want to smash because that's the only reason why you're taking out on dates. Like I said, fam, ain't no way in this world a man going to be taking a woman on dates and he don't want to hit it. Like me personally, I'm not taking no damn woman on no dinner date. You know what I'm saying? If it's, if it's a date, we doing some sort of activity, like something cool, fun, adventurous. To me, that's a date. But wasting time eating some damn dinner, I'm not, I'm never doing that with no damn woman, bro. I'm not wasting my damn time. If anything, go to her crib and let her cook you dinner. You buy the groceries and you let her cook you dinner and let her wear something nice and sexy. But other than that, I'm not taking no damn woman to no restaurant to eat no food. You go on a date, you go do some adventure stuff, something cool and exciting. But notice the dude can't answer none of the questions. Backseat, bandit, two girls, throwing, like, I, I mean, what kind of... <laughs> Notice what he's doing. He's trying to prove himself now. He said, didn't you see my Instagram? I'm in the back seat banging two girls. This is the kind of guy that Melly Monaco goes on dates with. Wow. Dude is admitting he's toxic. Now, again, she told MCR, hey, you know what I'm saying? Don't, you know, bring me back no STDs. This dude said he's in the back seat banging two girls. <laughs> And Melly cool. That's easy. Like, that's what I said. It's it's what you bring, I'll decide if I'm going to take or not. Right? And that just keeps her in limbo land. Keep her guessing. Is, am I good enough? Is he going to choose me? You ladies love getting played. That's just, mm -hmm. that's just it. So. Yeah. Uh, what about, do you want to have more kids? Do I have one? Uh, depending on what the woman does. You see this? Right. I'm, I'm snip, but, you know, I'll unsnip for the right woman. Notice he's saying he's snip, but he'll unsnip for the right woman, which means he has a vitectomy. That's basically what he just said right there. Right, guys? Put a one in the chat if you believe that's what he just said right there. Basically, he's saying I could bang women and they're not going to get pregnant. So why would Melly be dating a guy that got a vasectomy? Come on now. Melly's slow, bro. Again, y'all look at her based on her looks and all this other stuff, but up here, she not thinking, bro. She don't got no fucking man leading her. She's slow. Dude just said basically that he got a vasectomy. So that means he out here smashing and dashing women left and right. Why? Because he don't want no more babies. So why the fuck would you be dating him? on that's a red flag right there because if dude got a vasectomy what he's saying is he's not trying to settle down with melly 
on no real ish. But he's going to gas her up by saying, hey, for the right woman, I would go reverse whatever it is so that I can impregnate a woman. Anytime you see dudes with vasectomies, those are dudes that just want to go out here banging chicks, raw dogging chicks and not getting them pregnant. That should be a sign to Melly to say, hold on now, wait a minute. If you got a vasectomy, you basically saying you don't want to have kids. So that means you ain't using no protection when you raw dogging these women. When he banging these chicks, he's raw dogging. And he know he can't get them pregnant. He don't want no kids. He got two kids already. Based on what I'm hearing. Well, I don't even know if he got two kids. Tell you the truth. I'm hearing he got two baby mamas to be correct. So I don't know how many kids he got. I'm assuming he probably got two. But by the pure fact that he got a vasectomy, that mean he don't want no more kids. So if he don't want no more kids and Melly asking him, so do you want more kids? How could he answer that question when he got a vasectomy? Getting a vasectomy mean I'm not trying to have no more. I'm just trying to run through women. And that's what he's doing. Okay. Are you trying to get pregnant? I mean, if I'm going to be in a serious relationship, yes, I want to have a baby. Well, you running out of time right now. <laughs> you making all of that woman, all of that body go to waste, woman. <laughs> Getting old, fam. You only got but like four or five more years. <laughs> After that, fam, it ain't going to look too cool. You on Instagram posting those images and you 40 years old. <laughs> Just saying, fam, you better get yourself right. You better gravitate towards a real man, because if not, I promise you, you're going to be a single mom on YouTube, bro. Seriously, she's going to be a single mom, guys. Either that, either single mom or just single for life. Because a lot of times when women have success, they never are able to settle down with a man because when they try to focus on hypergamy and getting a man that's higher, that got more money, they realize that he got a lot of women. So they're like, damn, I can't really F with him because he got all these women. But then again, they don't want to deal with a guy that's beneath them respectfully. But this is how they see it, guys. They see your salary. And if you're not making more money than them, they feel you ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they wouldn't even settle. She won't settle down with the guy making 50K a year. Melly is not settling down with no man making 50K a year. I promise you, bro. I'm telling you the damn truth, guys. Y'all got to just hear me out, man. If you're not making no bread or if she don't feel you making any sort of money, bro, she's not going to deal with you, bro. By the pure fact, when you look at all her videos, all the different guys that you see her on dates with, she know that these guys are getting some sort of money. And that's the only reason why she's there. She's not giving none of you guys no opportunity, bro. And that's going to be one of the reasons why she's going to be single for life, because in her mind, she looks good. She got big titties. She's this. She's that. She know all the guys want to smash. She knows she got a following of thirsty men. So in her mind, she thinks she's got she got all this time to play. Not realizing that her biological clock is ticking. Before you know it, she's going to be 40 years old, bro. 40. No kids. Single for life, fam. I'm telling you what I know. Mm-hmm. See? See, y'all? She already trying to fuck. Really? See that? Notice that. <laughs> he says she's already trying to smash because she's willing to have a baby. She says she's willing to have a baby if she's in a serious relationship. But dude is not serious. Dude just want to hit. That's why he got a vasectomy. You know what I mean? Maybe he did hit already. Maybe they got maybe they, they got it in on the third date. You never know what, what went down. But, hey, what I do know is this is the reason why Melly Monaco is going to be a single mom or single for life. I, I'm telling you, when, hey, if she continue down this path, bro, watch and see. Uh, how many days do you go on with a woman before you introduce her to your mother slash father? 
Is that for That's me? That's a dumbass question, bro. <laughs> you asking a man? What? This doesn't make any sense, bro. A man is asking another man about how many dates do you go on with a woman before you introduce her to your mom and, and father. <laughs> bro, why you ask that dude that question, bro? That's a stupid question, bro. Men don't supposed to be asking men. It, what kind of dudes is this? <laughs> That's some stuff you tell a that's that's what a woman does, bro. A woman tell another woman, you know, hey, you know, the guy that you just met that you're dating, like when would you tell your mom and your fop, your fops that, you know, you you got that's what a woman do. Men don't do that. Here. That's for you. Yeah. That's a, a dude who wrote what? I'm a I'm a dude. Like, well, my my mother's passed, but um, uh... Go on a date. I guess more introduce them to kids. Um, it just it all depends on the vibe of the person, right? Um, you know, it's you, you can't have you can't have a wall up when you're meeting people um, because if you have a wall up, then you know you will miss out on on great people. So you know you have to you know be open to whatever the person brings you like. He's dancing around these damn questions again, bro. He's not really answering that. He's just making himself sound like he's saying something, but he ain't saying anything. Be open, and then whatever they bring, they bring. That Then you judge if you want it or not. You know, like, I don't like when, when you know, women ask me, like, um, what's your expectations? Like. Notice even somebody says he don't have no answer for nothing. This is what I've been saying, fam. I'm, I'm just... I'm just on the outside observing these two interactions. And dude don't know what he's doing, bro. Dude is showing signs of he don't know how to communicate with women. None of that NBA stuff is impressing me, fam. So I don't want to hear none of that. Based on what I'm seeing, because a lot of dudes, right? You got a lot of dudes in the NBA that are in the NBA but you don't see them on the court at all. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like they're in the NBA, they're on the team, but you never see them. <laughs> How many people you seen like that? Yeah. That's how this dude is. You could tell that he really don't communicate with women. He just hide behind his money and the NBA but he really never learned how to communicate with women. And that be, it be so. You have a lot of guys that got money. They don't really know. They don't really interact with women, guys. They let their money talk. Their money talks for them. Like, I don't have any. Like, <laughs> like I, I don't have any. I can't, I don't know who you are. Yo, that's a good comment, fam. Uh, BD Jack says, a former hoopa with no game. That's wild. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy, man. This is crazy, fam. Like, I don't, I don't know who you are for me to give you a real assessment on what I'm thinking. I, you know, I can be looking for um, a quick thing, and um, we're vibing so good that you become a wife. I can say, oh, I want a wife, and then... This dude is not looking for no fucking wife, bro. Like, these women slow, man. Like, damn. Dude just want to smash, bro. I mean, do Melly not realize that? That this dude is a lame? <laughs> like, straight up, bro. Like, dude is a lame. I don't even know who he is. Y'all saying some former NBA player, bro. I'm not impressed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I see he do some YouTube and whatnot. What? I don't know. People saying he funny, fam. <laughs> this interaction with this woman, fam, is lame, bro. I don't like who you are, and you're just a fun girl. Like, so it, it just really all depends on the fun girl, bro. 
Look at Melly's face, fam. She already know what it is. <laughs> Gotta know what it is, fam. If she don't know that this dude is lame, something wrong with her, bro. Cause this is depressing, fam. Like, I'm depressed doing this stream, fam, and I got like 22 more minutes to go. Shoot, I gotta, I gotta get me some damn sleep. The person themselves is, what, what, what are you bringing and offering? Okay, why well, you never been married? Hey, good question. Why you never been married? See, ladies, guy got all this money, MBA, former, whatever, whatever. How come you never had a successful relationship? How come you never had a situation where you're taking care of women and these are your women so that a potential woman can see the results. This is why I teach you ladies that when it comes to a quality man, do he have a family? Do he have a wife? Can you check the receipts? Can you see if he's really active in doing what he said he does? Because knowing that this guy have a family, wife, a structure, that's an indicator of what he will have with you. You get what I'm saying? But if a man is having, if a man is toxic and he have hoes, uh, baby mamas, women that he don't take care of. He has a vasectomy. He just want a date. You don't see the red flags. You don't see that you in a trap. I don't know, fam. Because I've never seen a wife. Wow. So out of all the women he dated, he never seen a wife. So basically, he just dissed Melly Monaco to her fucking face. I told you we the best, man. I told you. We the best in these YouTube streets when it comes to the reactions, fam. Ain't no doubt about that. He said, I never seen a, I never had a wife. Never seen a wife. She just asked him, why haven't you been married? He said, I never seen a wife. Which mean, he's talking directly to Melly that you're not a wife. You're just the woman that I need for recreational use. That's basically what he just said right there. Again. He disrespected her right in her face. And because she's slow, she cannot pick up on the game. Oh, I had hoes. Wow. He got hoes. So what do you think Melly Monaco is to him? A potential hoe. I'm keeping it a buck. Told you, Ringo TV reaction, we keep it a thousand. He's basically saying he is not trying to get with her for nothing else other than to smash. You're calling your baby mom's hoes? And he the just said yes. He just said yes, fam. She just said, so are you calling your baby mama's hoes? He said yes. Now, if a man is going to disrespect the mother of his children, then what that says about you if you have kids with him? This is sad, man. I'm still surprised that she's still on the phone, like on the air talking to him after all of this. The red flags is enough to say, look, this is, this is just not going to work. Date three? Hell no. The Laura, yeah, yeah, four, yeah, now, nah, now, nah. she was a jump, she was my jump off. Wow. So one of his baby mamas was his jump off, bro. The dude just said one of his baby mamas was his jump off. And he called his baby mamas hoes, the mothers of his children, bro. Now, if a man says that his baby mamas are his hoes, that means he don't respect the fact that he have children with these women. That means he don't even love his own kids, bro. Melly can't see that, fam. She's slow. I'm telling you, fam. And this is what happens when women don't got no guidance from a real man. She's out there in the streets naked and just slow. Dude just disrespected his own mothers of his children. And she can't even see the flags. No cap. She was my jump. What? She was my jump off. Wow. Wow. And, you know, it happened. You know, once I got, um, once I got, um, once she got pregnant the first time, then I decided, you know, I wanted to be a father. So trying to be a father, you know, is what led to the rest of the kids. But, man. So once she got pregnant the first time, which means there was a second time. 
So I don't know how much kids this man had, but he probably got a bunch of kids. He probably got more than two kids. Mm. <laughs> okay. Um, you have questions for me or no? Notice, do you have questions for me? Let's see what he got. Who, me? No, who am I talking to? No, I don't. He's slow. What do I need to ask you questions for? Online. I don't know. Well, you're here. You, you, we wanted to talk. So here we are. So. Because you already know, because you keep saying online, then I'm going to start trolling. You can do whatever you, you want. You can be whoever you want to be. I'm telling you guys, he's very different in person. He's not all um, the, the no chill. It, it's a little different. So uh, they say, maybe I jump off. <laughs> and that is how you ladies always get pregnant by Pookie and Ray Ray, because you're slow. Because what he's displaying right here is all the red flags and you can't see nothing. You're blinded by the representative that he display on the date. When these guys go out on the dates, they, they're not showing themselves. They're showing the representative. You get what I'm saying? The red flags are being shown right here. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, um, I don't know. Well, if you have no questions, I have, uh, I have another one. How, how would you bring more happiness to my life? Wow. <laughs> how would you bring more happiness to my life? Interesting question. Let's see how he answers this one. Hit me with my own stuff. Cute. Whatever. Well, you, you, you've you told the world how to make you happy. You know, you want someone that's supportive, funny. Oh, everybody, look, to be honest, low key, we're actually the same person. Do you see how he just did that again? Remember before he did that? Do you see how he just switched it? Do you see how he just threw a monkey wrench in there? I'm giving, listen, ladies, if you pay attention to me, I promise you, you'll pick up on the game. I'm literally showing and pausing the video right when the questions are asked, how he immediately switches up and begin to divert into a different way rather than just answering the question. Let's go. Mm. And, you know, like, so what happens is y'all hear my answers and for y'all, it's a turn off. But for Melly, it's... <laughs> Uh, no, you saying your baby mamas are hoes is not a turn on. It, no. it, it's, it's nothing because they hoes. I can't. I can't. <laughs> wow. Well, it's not a turn on. <laughs> but no. Wow. The man called his baby mamas hoes, bro. Any decent woman would have said, nah, this dude right here is just not the dude, bro. That's so disrespectful, fam. That's so disrespectful to call the mothers of your children hoes you disrespected your legacy you disrespected yourself dude is a loser bro straight this is sad man what I'm saying is we're the same. We're the same. We're the same. We're now the he's saying that him and Melly is the same. He never answered the questions. Now he just dismissed her question and basically just did something else. Confused everybody to make her forget. Same people. I just let mine out. She, she's a simp, y'all. Wow. He, and he called her a simp. He's doing all of these things to keep her mind active with the things he pre he said to prevent her from focusing on him answering the question that she asked of him. <laughs> I'm a simp. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so notice he never answered nothing. Finish answering my question. I forgot. He forgot. Uh, wow. What we? Uh, how would you bring more happiness to my life? How would you bring more happiness to her life? What the fuck? You can't answer the question, bro. See, ladies, 
When a man is not feeling you, he can't talk. If a man is really, really feeling you and he's in your presence or whatever the case is, he should be able to communicate to you his feelings. But again, remember what she said with Melly, with, uh, with MTR, when MTR said that uh, about a guy can get with a woman and smash and not have no feelings. Well, that's exactly what the point is. He don't got no feelings for her. He don't give a fuck about her. He's just trying to hit it. He figured, hey, with my clout, with my money, I should be able to do this. I got a blue check mark. You know what I'm saying? She, she, I went on dates with her. Surely I'll be able to smash. You know what I mean? I know I can smash Shorty because she's not smart. She's dumb. Just like all these other broads that fall for my for, fall for the okie doke. So this is the game he's running right here. And unfortunately, you know, he's dodging these questions. So now she's asking him again. Let's see what he do. Supportive. Um, it's, it's the little things, right? Um, you know, asking about your day, actually really caring about what you got going on, really supporting what you got going on, trying to help you, you know, escalate to the next level. Dude is fake, bro. He's lying. Everything he's saying is not even real. He's just telling her what she want to hear, hoping that that would resonate with her. Um. Hmm. Mm-hmm. He can't talk, y'all. Look how he's looking up. The dude. There's some other talk. things I just can't. This is sad, man. Damn, Henny. She childish too. Don't, don't just be pointing me out. <laughs> So you, you can't see you can't laugh at them when they're trying to like talk down and you women be giving these guys the box fam like y'all y'all like really this is sad man rather than him just speaking up front what his intentions are what he's after what's going on he's literally Tongue tied. He can't even answer, fam. That that should be telling Melly, this dude don't like me. This dude just want to smash. And that's what he's saying. He there's nothing there. When a man really feeling a woman, bro, he can talk with ease. It's like he can just express himself. He could look the woman in her eyes, and before you know it, he's able to talk to her in a way where she never heard a man talk to her like that, and it makes her feel good hearing him express himself in terms of what he like and what he feel when he's around her. Dude ain't feeling nothing, bro, because he just want to hit. He don't got no feelings for her, bro, whatsoever. Let me see. Mm -mm. Okay. Uh, I have a question that's will help me then. And notice he never answered the question. Now she's asking another question and he's going to, he's not going to answer that either. How can I make your life better? How can she make her his life better? How can she make his life better? Be you? You and your lame ass answers. Like, <laughs> like what the fuck? No, but but it's it's serious, you know. Um be you. Like I can't I can't tell you how to treat me. You just got to do you and then I can actually see what is acceptable and what's not. Like this you can't crazy. change. Crazy. You can't change anyone. Um, I can't tell you to do something that you don't do. So, um, you know, it's, 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 you grow together. You know, you spend enough time around each other. You start feeling like what each other likes. What, this like is what happens when a man just pumps and dumps, smash and dash and don't take women serious and don't have no real relationships with a woman, this man is a loser. He's not a husband. He's not father material. He disrespects his baby mamas, call them hoes, side pieces and jump offs. Um, he don't know how to communicate his thoughts or feelings. She asked him, do you like me? He don't know how to explain himself. She asked, how can I make your life better? He don't know what to say. This guy is a loser. A typical Pookie and Ray Ray. With money. 
But because of the money, women will act like they didn't see or hear anything he said. There's something about women, man. You can have the money and they'll ignore all the red flags thinking that they, they struck gold. Like, I know you don't like smacking. So, you know, um, that's my shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, when I'm with you, I got to make a conscious decision not to do it, knowing it kind of irritates you. Like, even though, even though you're not, you won't make it a big deal today. Right. But like later on, you know, if we keep, you know, dating that it, it eventually, you know, be a negative. So that's something I have to actually, um, make a conscious, just work on it. You know, so it's just like little things like that, understanding what the person dislikes and likes, really like listening to the person, really understanding like their facial expressions of when they're mad, when they're serious. But Melly is mad because you're not answering none of her questions, bro. <laughs> I'm mad, fam. I'm about to go, go to sleep right here, bro. <laughs> because you ain't saying anything, fam. This is very disappointing. When they're happy when they're not having um, a, 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 a good or bad day. Now, you should put that, that question back up there. Or that statement, the statement. Um, that was the alpha one. I don't know. The, the chat going too fast. You say, they say this ain't alpha talk. Is that a man or? Yep. Yeah. How would you know what an alpha talk is? Uh, what is an alpha in your mind? Here we go. More showing off, more ego. Now we're going to go into some alpha nonsense, fam. This man called the mother of his children hoes. That's not alpha, bro. You disrespecting the mother of your children, fam. That should make Melly look at you as a piece of shit. Because, like, damn, if you disrespect the mother of your children, what are you going to do for me? And I hope this dude see the video. And I, w I want him to make a, re a response. Make a response, fam. I'll have a field day with you, bro. We'll have content for the whole week. Nothing but reaction videos. Set it off, bro. I'm waiting. Right? What? What is? Like you ever have? Has do? You know, just for men out there, like, um, being an being an alpha male. Um, y'all y'all understand? Like when you're in sports, right? To get to a certain level, you have to have a certain demeanor, right? Um, and from team to team, your, your mentality dominates. That's what makes you great at what you do. It's like the, the pull out the most alpha males, you have to be in the sport, right? That's where, <laughs> you know, that's where you fold or not fold and during certain situations. So, um, the stigma of an alpha male is some big rah-rah guy that you guys will see, some guy that, you know, the guy that I show on Instagram and social media, that's what you were thinking, this alpha male, some loud talking dude. But an alpha male, when he picks his mate, um, he's docile to her. You just called your mo the mothers of your children hoes. <laughs> So everything you saying right here, fam, is is pure bullshit at this point. Like he's sensitive to her. He's like when you're talking about like think about the most powerful men in in history. The only time they're sensitive is when they're around their woman. You call the mothers of your children hoes. You contradicting yourself, bro. I don't respect that. I'm a family man. Ain't no way in this world I'm going to be disrespecting any woman that had children for me. That doesn't even make any sense, man. And you did it on the air, online. Your children are going to hear you say that the the baby your baby mamas are hoes. What kind of shit is that, bro? Like real spit, bro. So you don't care. So your kids are going to see you disrespecting their mom online 
and you cool with that. So you don't give a fuck about your own kids, bro. Basically, that's what you're saying. You saying, hey, if you if you if your baby mamas are hoes, then you what what is what are your children? You don't love your kids. You you can't tell me you love your kids, talking like that about their moms. Can Melly peep that? I don't think so. I don't think so, fam. Right. You know, Pablo Escobar, anybody you name, like their woman brings down, like when you have two, like when you have two mates, like your, 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 your mate will start picking up some of your alpha attributes. You will start picking up some of her sensitivity and you, you, you are sensitive to her. See, everything he's saying there is a walking contradiction compared to how he disrespect the mothers of his children. That's why nothing there that he just said makes any sense. He's fake. Like she's not, um, she is not a competition, right? So you're going to be most vulnerable to your woman. A real alpha is going to be more vulnerable to his, his woman. Um, He's not going to show strength around her. Um, that's just how it works. He's not going to show strength around her. But yet all throughout the stream, you were trying to show off by talking about you will fly a jet and how you're not a normal person and how, you know, you got holes at your disposal and all this stuff. You did that right in front of Melly. So obviously everything you just said right there is, is cap. You know what I mean? Dude is fake, bro. Like I said, I'm the best when it comes to these breakdowns, fam. Nobody does a better job. Dude is a straight loser. Right? You know, all that rah-rah with your girl and shit, arguing with your girl because you need to prove that you're right, that's not alpha behavior. If it's not alpha behavior, why earlier in the stream you were saying that you're not a normal guy like everybody else? In other words, you're better than everybody. And then you started to talk about all these different things that you've done. That's not alpha, right? I'm telling you, man, these guys are like, it's just like a textbook style the way these guys move. It's so easy to pinpoint. Sadly, but women can't pick up on this on this game. You know, it's just a... <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, Superman, like, okay, think about the Superman aspect, right? Superman is the alpha, right? And what does Clark Kent do? But they're the same person, right? He's the sensitive person to the lowest lane, right? He's, that's the, <laughs> he's the sensitive part of Superman. That's the one that is head to toe for that woman. <laughs> Superman's mentality is not for Lois. First of all, Lois Lane didn't like Clark Kent. I don't know what dude talking about. <laughs> Clark tried to kick it with Lois Lane, but she would always be rejecting him because he was a lame. The only time she was feeling him was when he turned into Superman. And then when she finally learned that Clark was Superman the whole time, that's when everything was different. So your analogy is not making any sense. Like, yeah, he's saving her, but he's not emotionally and mentally there for her. The Clark Kent version of him is. And that's what males need to understand, that you have to be Clark Kent to your woman when you're around your woman. When you're in the world, then you are your Superman. But you just said that your baby mamas are hoes. <laughs> Bro. You are not in no position to talk to these brothers. You a straight clown, bro. I don't even know how people are even listening to you in these YouTube streets, fam. Let me introduce myself. Name is Ringo TV. Reactions. crazy man all of that talk he just said right there 
walking contradiction because he disrespect the mothers of his children. Come on now. Can't take a man like that serious, fam. You disrespecting the moms of your children. I can't rock with that, fam. You're, you're, you're worse than, than, than scum. You know what I mean? Like, think about, and he said that his mom's passed. How would your moms feel to know that you disrespecting the grandkids' mothers like that, calling them hoes? You're basically saying you never wanted the kids. To call your baby mamas hoes mean you never wanted the kids. It's just that so happened you got them women pregnant, and that's why you got a vasectomy. I'm reading this guy like a textbook, bro. This is easy. But Melly can't see that. She's going to end up pregnant by that very same guy or some guy just like him. Because this is what they do. And then when she hit 40, 45, that's when she's going to be on TikTok complaining that there are no good men out there. <laughs> you know? Because they never really gravitate towards quality men. They never do that. They always do that when they're in their 40s. Or in their 60s, that's when they do that. Believe it or not, fam, I be having women in their mid-50s and 60s trying to hit up your boy. <laughs> I don't know what these women be thinking, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't breed you up in you 60, fam. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you'll get it. Don't worry about it. Well, how you doing? <laughs> I'm good. Somebody had another question. Girl, why do you truly believe that you could be the right man for Melly? If you believe that, because I don't know if that's what you believe. Well, you Notice, she don't even know if that's what you believe because you haven't convinced her of anything. You haven't even convinced the woman that you even taken her serious. You haven't even shown her anything. You know? So somebody posed a, 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 a good question. Why do you truly believe that you could be the right man for Melly? First of all, He's not the right man because of the fact that he can't answer the questions and the fact that he disrespected the mother of his children and so many other red flags. There's so many red flags throughout this entire video. It's too much. Like, I ran out of the count, man. It's like there's so many. I ran, I, I forgot count. You gotta ask Melly. No, they're asking you. I'm not. Why would they have to? Yo, dude don't know how to answer questions. He said that y'all need to ask Melly. How could Melly answer that question? The question is for you. Why do you truly believe that you could be the right man for Melly? The truth is he's not trying to be Melly's man. He's trying to smash. And I don't know why he just don't come out and say it if you so alpha. If you so alpha, just say what you want to say. It's, I don't understand this, fam. You taking her on dates, you don't want to smash? Of course you want to smash, but you don't want to you don't want to be with her long term. You don't want to tell her that part. That's the part you don't want to tell her. You don't want to tell her that you just want to hit it just one time. You know what I mean? Just a quick boom boom. But when it comes to long term, you don't want that. And what you guys do is you lead women on making them think that they're going to have something and then they end up getting their heart broken. And this happens to a lot of women. I'm going to say, yeah, ask her. Like, she only got to remember, she has to say I'm the right man or not. They're asking you, they're I not can, asking me. I can be, but I can be as... Notice, the way she said that right there, her tone clearly shows signs of frustration. It's like, she's frustrated at this point. She's laughing and giggling at times. But the tone in her voice right there was like, she, she said, they're asking you, not me. In other words, answer the damn question, man. Like, seriously, like, you making me really, you, you, you're just turning the woman off. You know? I mean, she's already turned off at this point. But at the end of the day, sometimes women could be turned off and they still go along with the flow and end up getting used. Confident as i want but you know i still have to appease to her i still have to be the right mate for her hey are we going on a date after this do you see how he just did that again do you see what he just did there again he did the same thing again fam are we still going on a date after this and she just smiled you see how he just did that 
playing her like a violin, bro. Melly is weak, y'all. Y'all be y'all be sitting there watching her videos, talking about she's giving y'all the ten steps for this and that. Fam, she's weak. She's easy to gas up, fam. I'm I'm watching it in real time, fam. Dude is literally running game. Uh, you know, he's using all of these 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 key points to change the subject, to dodge the questions. He still didn't answer the question. Are we still going on a date? And then Melly starts smiling, like, yeah, I can't wait to go on the date. I can't wait to go. Sad, bro. <laughs> see, you see that, Grayson? You can't do that. Grayson, you can't do that because he's not here. You can't do that. You know what I mean? See that there, right there. Whatever. No, but serious. Like after the show, you gonna pick me up? I'm not picking you up. So you want me to come there? We can meet there. See? Look at that. The right man. The right man. That doesn't mean you're the right man. So far you're cool. And um She said so far you're cool, guys. Melly Monos Monaco said that dude is cool after he disrespected the mother of his children. Disrespecting the mother of your children is the equivalent of disrespecting your own mother. This is sad, bro. If this doesn't show you how Melly Monaco think, something wrong with y'all, fam. They always say if you want to know if a guy is a good brother, Look at how he treat his mom. Look at how he treat any female in his family. And it'll give you the indicator of why, how that man really is. The man disrespected his, the baby mamas, his two baby mamas he disrespected, fam. Yeah, it's cool. Okay. It's sad, bro. Anything else you want to say? No? You want me to go to Costa Rica so we can get this out of the way now. So, you know, Grayson can, did Grayson pay for his ticket? He probably didn't pay for his ticket yet, right? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you worried about Grayson? I don't know. He, he emailing you. Man, who emails? God damn, nigga. I'm just saying, like, um, can I, can I come to Costa Rica? I mean, it's open to everyone. So if that's what you want to do, you can get there. It's open. Okay. You should bring some girls. How many do you need? <laughs> <laughs> you see? Like, so am I the, no, am I the childish one or is, is, is she just as childish? How am I childish? I'm telling you to bring girls. Okay. It would be fun for everyone. Oh, there's a question. It said, yeah, Melly, if, if, we got, if we got married, would you sign a prenup? I would. Notice this. Melly just said that she would sign a prenup if they got married. So Melly is willing to marry this guy <laughs> and sign a prenup. But when she was on the show, the episode with MTR, if you can recall, MTR was talking about her signing an NDA and she wasn't feeling that. She was like, nah, fam, I don't know what you're saying. Like, mm -mm. why would you want me to sign that? You know what I mean? She ain't want that. But she would have a prenup. Come on now. Make it make sense, y'all. Make it make sense. I don't know. I don't need this. Uh, <laughs> what you're laughing about again? I want to who the hell emails. I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, if you wait, you need you. Okay, I would sign one, but would you want me to sign one? It all depends. I mean, it a prenup, yes, a postnup, no. So, uh, prenup is protecting everything that I, 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 um. I made without you, mm -hmm. you know, um, I wouldn't make you sign a post up, which means everything we build as together is 50 50. So why are you making me sign a prenup? You think I'm going to run with your money if we get a divorce? Yeah, that's what you think. Oh, I don't know. 
I right. thought you thought I wasn't that type of girl, but now you need a prenup. No, I'm just saying off the just the 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 my views of um, just that whole type of situation. Like if I'm gonna marry, then you know I'll protect my funds before, but you know everything while we're married, you know it's fifty fifty. But you know every case is you know. Yeah, but my question is, you don't think I'm here for your money, so why would you make me sign a prenup? Because he don't trust you. He don't mm. trust you. Come so do on. you think I'm here for your money? You? Yes, nah, you're you here for these looks. These looks are oh, so beautiful. I know. So beautiful. So so okay, so what if I'm not if you believe that I'm not here for your money, why you want me to sign one? I don't want to change the subject, but you know it's 918, right? Do you see how he just did it again? And the date, the date. The third date. You are do you see how he just did that again? Do you see how he keeps switching the... Yo. Man, this is so easy for me, man. He gave it to me. I mean, we didn't say the third date. You just asked right now. The third date, we didn't say the third date is right now. Today. Answer the question. Which one? Wow, which one? This guy Why crazy. would you make me sign a prenup if you think I'm not after your money? I didn't say I would. Did I say I would? Yes. In theory or in reality, we have to get to that situation. You trying to marry me too? Nobody said nothing. It's a question. Somebody asked that question. I didn't. Oh. Hmm. Gil, are you really into money or looking for a challenge? Ooh. I don't know. I was still playing sports. Okay. Hey, can we go? Can we go on our third date right now? Do you see how he just dodged the question again? Are you into? Are you really into Melly? Can we go on our third date now? This guy is the devil. I am convinced. This man is the devil, and Melly is blind. Blind. Yeah, he begging her, fam. This is what's crazy. And he just finished talking about that alpha male stuff and how he's not a normal guy like everybody else. But he's begging her to go on a date, fam. That's so sad, bro. This is crazy, man. Are you just trying to get out of the life? You can get out of the life. Uh, they say, bring a girl for Grayson while you and Melly sail into the sunset. Uh, your girl no, Grace no, says, no, yeah. says he's pulling up with Javaris Pintenten. I don't know who that is. If you pull up to Costa Rica, who is Javaris? A uh, teammate that I got in trouble with in the locker room. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um, you both are Capricorn. You'll be a good match. I don't know. She knows. No, I don't know about the good match. I know about Capricorn. Um, all right, uh, Ari, we got a, a few ladies. Oh, this is cute. He can't wait for this third day. <laughs> Thank you, girl. Finally, somebody on my side. Um, hell yeah, he needs you to sign a prenup for protection. Have him sign one too, Melly. Just don't forget my wedding invitation. Okay, don't cross me. Uh, so you want to get married? You're the one talking about prenup. Somebody asked that question. Hmm. Okay, well, you you like to avoid questions a lot. That's exactly like it. That. That's it. He's avoiding the questions. You you go around and around and then don't say nothing and then hope that we forget the question, but we don't hear. That's exactly Even it. Even if I forget, the chat is going to remind us that, yo, he didn't answer. So... Hmm. So yeah, but okay. You look lovely though. Thank you. Now he said that she looks lovely. Do you see how he just did it again? I'm showing you all the signs. This guy is a fraud, bro. He cannot answer no question, bro. This is scary. This is dangerous, man. And this these are the type of guys women go on dates with. Um, did you yeah. get dressed for me or was that for the pineapple show? 
Did I what? Did you did you put the outfit on for me? No. No, for the pineapple show. I didn't know you were coming. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Well. He still didn't answer the question. This is why women get played. Money BS. Maybe actually liked you. Mm. This is why women get played. Actually liked. You might want to take the D off. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't laugh. See see. Now he's trying to insult him based on his grammar. Childish stuff, fam. This guy is like a a a, a child in a grown man's body. Mm. So, um, so how much do you like me right now? How much you like me? Go tell us. No, you know that. See, right. see, look, see what I'm saying when I'm saying that I ask a question and you go around it every fucking time. No, I said go tell us, Melly, how much you like me. That's not. I mean, if you do, I don't know. All right. Well, we won't answer then. Is it a ten? Eight. What you say? What's your level? Seven and a half, eight. Out of ten, yeah. Seven and a half, eight. Damn. That's, that's high. <laughs> that's high, y'all. No, that's what you said, right? That's you rating, not me. No, I'm asking you. Would like you like me? What is it? That wasn't my question. Like, stop. You're playing. Okay, we're gonna get off because you're not trying to <laughs> do anything. What? Um, maybe you gotta realize, girls had a PR team for double digit years. He has been trained to answer a question without a, uh, without answering. Yeah, and I'm not fucking with it. So they say, hope in your heart, your heart. G. See, hope in your heart. Me. Mm -hmm. Do you think you can be vulnerable? Because you seem very guarded. I'm guarded around you? The two dates we went on? Right. He is annoying. Very annoying. Now you are guarded. I said when we on the, our two dates. I heard, but right now you are guarded. <laughs> Notice the, the sister said, Gil think he's really running game. This is hilarious. It is because the dude is a lame. Oh my God. Like, I think they think I'm serious. That's the funny part. But uh, no, I am serious. Are we going on our date after this though? So you're not serious about me? That's what you're saying? No, I'm... I'm asking, I'm asking for a clip. If she said it, trust your gut, Melly. I'm asking for clarification. Which part? You're so fucking you know. You know exactly what I fucking said. Oh, is this serious? Yes, this is serious. <laughs> after you said the opposite. After you said, oh, people just think we're still yes here. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I, I'll let you go. Anything else you wanted to say before you go? Can you be ready by 10? Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> you see how she looked, y'all? <laughs> Ooh, I'm smooth. I be trying to tell you. See, y'all should learn. See, y'all think my game is weak. Y'all should be learning from me. Right? Y'all should be learning from me. Got her smiling, looking to see what time to see if she can be ready in 34 minutes. Whatever. Look at her. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll see. Yeah, well, I, I, listen, I should, I should, listen, I should run some classes, see? I should run some classes, get the girl smiling. <laughs> see, the thing is, a lot of you guys, if this dude start teaching you, y'all be signing up to listen to this clown try to give you some sort of game. This guy is a lame, straight up. And if anybody can't see that, you're just dumb. Got her looking at the time to see if she can really do it. It's 10 o'clock. I'm no jump off, Melly. Okay? I'm not no jump off. You're not going to just be having me all out late night, huh. 10 p.m. Somebody said, 
your game is weak, bro. It's just money with you. And that's exactly what it is, fam. He's hiding behind clout money. Some women are turned off by that, fam. When they realize that you don't got no mouthpiece and you're not really official and you are lame, especially when you can't even express yourself. When a woman asks you, do you like her? What do you like about her? Do you see her helping you with your life and vice versa? And you can't communicate? You're a waste of time. And she looked y'all. All right, males. All right, well, thank you for coming and um, explaining, kind of. But yeah. All right, well, thank hey, you. Hey, put some, um, put some fire emojis if you like her hairstyle. I'm gonna put some fire emojis in the chat if y'all like her hairstyle. He did it again. Come on, so, y'all. What do you mean, for what? No, that's not the name. Guys, don't. Are you don't... getting sexy right now, though? Like the little poof with the orange glow. glow. Oh, come on. Put the Thank come you. on. Put the, put the fire emojis in here, y'all. No, guys, this is not. There we go. Yeah. No, guys, don't even listen to him. Uh, how about we decide, uh, guys, they say this is cringe. <laughs> how about we put one if we believe he's serious and we put two if we think he's playing? How about we do that? Is he being serious about me or he's playing? One is serious, two is playing. Don't go for it, Melly. Don't fall for that shit. Um, Are you going to vote? No, I'm not voting. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> What's up? Okay, one, 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 two, 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 two. Mm. The dude is not serious, man. Come on now. Two, two, one, one. I don't know. It's. Mm. How about this? You 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 go. You put on. Let's see what you put. What I put? Yeah. Oh no, I already know. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah. No, she says she already knows, so she know if he's serious or not already. Isn't that interesting? I know what's up. I know what's up. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whatever. All right. That's it. That's that's enough of you. Okay. All right. Ciao. Goodbye. I'll be there in like 32. Minutes. Shut up. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. Um, Melly is playing you like a fiddle. Don't buy it. So well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Proof is in the pudding. We broke down the videos. We made you see the truth. We've been here for about almost three hours. Late night shift. Based on this, it's very evident and clear. And I apologize for all the smacking. You know what I'm saying? I'm eating my candy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Gotta have some candy, man. I've been up here Three hours talking, fam. I'm hungry now. <laughs> you know? But, uh... I don't know, man. It's a tough one. Because it's very evident and clear that Melly cannot see. And my prediction, if she keep on, I guess, attracting these kind of guys... She's going to be a single mother or single for life. And the reason why she'll, she'll be single for life is because there's not no guy that she'll settle down with. Because in her world, she figured, well, I don't want this guy over here because he ain't making enough money. And I don't want to get with that guy because he got too much money which means he got more women. So she's going to be in the middle somewhere forever. So it's either she's going to become a single mom from a pookie that she go on these damn dates with, or she's just going to stay alone forever. You know? So that's about it. 
Come on, get off. And go enjoy my candies, man. <laughs> hey, this is a pineapple flavor here. I don't know if you can see that. It says pineapple. <laughs> Says pineapple, man. You know, these are good, fam. You know, they give you these candies when you go to um, B and H Photo. Those of you that shop at B and H Photo in New York City. You know, they always have them candies and whatnot. You could take some candies. It's those candies. But anyway, we're going to get up on out of here, man. I'm going to go grab me something to eat and get me some sleep. You know what I mean? And we'll be back at it again with more. So, hey, leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Do you think that Melly Monaco is going to settle down with a quality man? Or is she going to continue to go on these dates with losers and end up getting pumped and dumped, impregnated by a bum? Or say you. Because I don't think she has the ability to settle down with a man, a, a quality man. I think that she's uh, wired to deal with nothing but toxic men. You know? Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. I'm not sure if, let me see, this person. Okay. I think I shouted this person out before, but shout out to Dre. I think I shouted you out before for the 10. Is that, uh... Yvonne, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the name properly, but uh, shout out to you for the $20 support. Uh, shout out to Asoa of Seed for the $5 support. <laughs> yeah, I was definitely suffering through that content, bro. Definitely suffering through that. Shout out to Peter for the $2 support. All right. Man. You know how much work it is, man, sitting there for three hours, man? <laughs> That's a lot of time, fam. To break it down, all of that information. You know how much information I was able to break down in that one video, fam? A lot. You know, um, let me see. This cash app is bugging out. I don't know what's going on with this thing. Shout out to V Dub Man, V Dub Man, for the seventy dollars support. Salute. Final thoughts, Melly Monaco. So you're probably up right now watching me live. You never know. She needs to settle down. Because if she don't, her time is going to be up. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be up and then she's not going to be able to. Um, she's not going to be able to settle down because it's going to be after that single for life. Like all these other women that are struggling. Um. She got to take inventory of her life in terms of the kind of man that she keep dealing with. These guys are toxic. You know. It's like. Dude has a vasectomy. <laughs> He's not the type of guy that a woman should even be dating. He's literally saying, hey, I'm just here to bang. That's it. I'm not here for nothing else. He ain't going to go undo his vasectomy. To get with you, only to break up, to go get get his vasectomy back on again. 
Nah, once a man get a vasectomy, fam, it's a wrap. He's already telling you right there that he not trying to have any kids. So if he's not trying to have any kids, it's all about smashing at this point. If a woman can't see that, she dumb, bro. It's that simple. Uh, shout out to Brandon for the 10. Brandon for the 10. So we're going to get up on out of here, man. Leave your comments, your feedback. Let me know what you think. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you think. Will Melly Monaco make the right decisions? And get, with a, get with a quality man that can change her life? Or will she continue down the path of Pookie? What would it be? The choice is hers. So that being said, we're going to get up on out of here. Ringo TV Reactions. The best reactionary channel on YouTube. Hands down. Nobody else does a better job, fam. Nobody else break down these videos like Ringo TV. All right. Peace and blessings to the mods. Appreciate everybody stopping by, rocking with the platform. We'll be back in the morning with more content. That's right. Until then, y'all be safe. Call your mom. Call your dad. Tell him that you love him. Always do that. It's very important that you do that. Call your folks. Hey, yo, ma, how you doing? Hey, I just called to say I love you. You know what I mean? I was just here chilling at home, chilling. Was thinking about you. I just... Wanted to let you know, hey, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to stop by this weekend and bring bring the kids over or, you know, pass through, whatever the case is. Cool. Call up your dad. Hey, yo, Pop. Hey, son, what's going on? Hey, hey, Pop, man. Hey, I just wanted to call you to say, you know what I mean? I really appreciate you, fam, because it's like, I was at work and I was thinking about you, man. Like, yo, you really taught me how to be a man, man. Like, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't even be doing what I'm doing. Only reason why I'm able to be who I am is because of your, the way you were in the house and how you took care of the family, man. That's what taught me how to be a man. So I just wanted to salute you, give you your flowers, and say I got much love for you, Pop. You know what I mean? Do that. Call your folks up, fam. Because like I said... My mom ain't here. And you know what I'm saying? I wish that I could do that right now. You know what I'm saying? Because I got mad love for my mom. And to hear dude disrespect his, the mothers of his children calling them hoes. You know what I'm saying? That that right there ain't, that ain't, that's not cool, fam. That stuff is fucking offensive, bro. Because your kids are going to grow up and they're going to look at that tape and they're going to be like, yo, Dude, that, that's my pops right there, disrespecting my mom? Come on, man. That's crazy. You know what I mean? So, hey, we're going to get up on out of here, man. It is what it is. Y'all take care. You know what I mean? Keep a smile on your face. Stay out of drama. You know what I mean? Stay sucker free. Stop letting these women play you, brothers. You ladies, y'all better make up your mind what y'all trying to do. Because if not, you're going to get ran through. By these streets, these brothers are going to pump and dump you, use you as recreational use. So, hey, you better make the right decision now. You better make the right decision. You better gravitate towards a quality man, because if not, you're going to be all messed up, fam. So, hey, Ringo TV Reactions salute you. It is what it is. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Ringo TV Reactions. The best reaction every channel on YouTube, hands down. You already done know what it is. Y'all take care. Peace and blessings to the mods. V Dub Man in the building. Salute. We out. Peace, peace. If you like our content, consider supporting via Cash App at Dollar Sign Ringo TV Raw.
Become a patron on patreon.com for exclusive video content not shown on YouTube. You could also support through PayPal at paypal.me slash ringotvraw. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified of new content. Follow me on Instagram at ringotvraw. This is Ringo TV Reactions. The only channel on YouTube bringing you the truth 100% raw. An uncut amount. Peace.